Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another Explain 11 live stream. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you very, very much for taking some time out of your busy schedules to come and hang out with me on this wonderful weekend. It is Saturday afternoon. We are live on a regular slot. Just to give you guys all a heads up, we are going to be live again later this evening. Uh, we've got a flight. We're doing an event. Captain AB, if you're not familiar with him, he's a uh, another YouTuber who also creates content in the X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim world, I believe. Uh, he's got an event going on this evening um, from Denver to Salt Lake City, which we're going to be streaming as well. It's a, kind of like an introductory to VATSIM, a newbie flight, if you will. Uh, if you're a little bit scared of flying online or you're not, not too... Uh, familiar with flying online and you kind of want to fly online with a bunch of like-minded people uh, that is basically what's going to be going on so welcome everybody hopefully you guys are all doing well thank you very very much for taking some time again out of your schedules come and hang out with me as we fly we do some milk runs oh baby we haven't done some milk runs in a while so absolutely awesome to everybody saying congrats on 64k thank you all very much for that i appreciate that huge no floaties to you guys thank you thank you thank you i um I didn't even notice, I didn't even notice that we hit 64,000 subscribers until you guys were talking about it, and I went and checked on the YouTube, and sure enough, we are at 64,000 subscribers. So guys, thank you very, very much for that. Let's get some no floaties in chat, if you got it, to each and every single one of you, because without you guys, we're not achieving these numbers. So thank you all very much for your continued support, your subscriptions, your donations, your memberships, everything. You guys are truly awesome. I am I'm extremely lucky. I still have to pinch myself every now and then that I get to call this a job and that I get to do this as um, something that I really truly do love. So thank you all very much for the support, man. You guys are absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, everybody that hits that subscribe button, everybody that smashes down that thumbs up button, everybody. You guys are all awesome, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much, guys. I really, really do appreciate that. Um, welcome, Mike Alpha, 123 Slim Lando Lake, Scott Rashley, uh, Digital Welcome, Kane Arthur Leonard. Welcome, Montreal Dev. Welcome, Yahi, the transit guy. Welcome, 737 guy. Welcome, John Franco. Welcome, Danny. Welcome, JP. Welcome, Decoy. Welcome, Video Games Maniac. It's Showtime Bennett. Mr. Anthony Baldo. Good to see you, sir. Hope all is well. Uh, Sasha Brome, you're going to be doing it in Microsoft 2020. You're going to be flying the Airbus A320 fly-by-wire in the same route. Awesome. Hopefully you enjoy the flights. Thank you very much. Uh, Devin, welcome. Dan, welcome. Leonard Grant, how are you, my friend? Captain Timothy, good to see you. Official Night Wolf Howler, welcome. Captain Colorado, good to see you, man. Flights in Germany, welcome. The Flying Moose, welcome. Gary P, welcome. Virgil Van Dyck, welcome aboard as well. Jappy Man, good to see you. Sean W, how are you, man? Good to see you. Fly 737 Max, welcome. John Zander, welcome. Daki, welcome. A lot of people in chat today. There's a lot of people down on the ground here as well, which is really cool. Uh, looks like we're going to have a nice little uh, a nice little line of wh whoever this is, you're not logging in under the right. You may want to look at your, so when you when you go to log in on, um, like when you go to log in on the client, make sure that you're putting your actual call sign. I don't know what you're trying. Are you trying to fly as an Alaska? Maybe you are flying as Air Arabia. Um, it just seems a little bit funny. I've seen that livery now again at, at a different airport. I'm not quite sure. It just seems to tell me that something isn't quite matching what your model matching or at least what you're trying to put in. Uh, we've got aircrafts all around here, man. Welcome. This is Juno. Uh, this is the, bear with me here, guys. I've got a little bit of a, a different setup. Um, without going into too much detail, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to put one and one or two and two together here, without going into a lot of detail... I've kind of switched up my setup here a little bit. Uh, there will be no yoke camera today. Um, more on that on Tuesday. Tuesday, we'll be able to turn the camera back on. Uh, but yeah, I've had to kind of switch how my setup goes and how everything is. Um, so bear with me if I'm going to be doing some weird stuff uh, because I've just got Everything's different now. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What's happening on Tuesday? Maybe because I'm using a new product that I can't necessarily talk about or show yet. But um, yeah, uh, welcome, friends. This is the zero dollar payware um, Anchorage. If you don't have it already, I don't know what you're doing. This is the best scenery for Anchorage. The link is in the description, uh, in the title, or you can just put exclamation point um, scenery in chat and uh, 
yeah, all of that will be said and done. So welcome to the stream, friends. Uh, it's early morning here in Anchorage. Uh, got some uh, nice cloud layers here. Some nice, uh, nice cloud layers here. It is raining. Um, this should be a lot of fun. We've got a couple aircraft down here on the ground. Oh, baby, look at all these Alaskas. Look at all the Alaskas flying with us today. I like it. We've even got like three variations of the Alaska livery right here. We've got the old lay. We've got the, what is this one? Is this one Alaska Spirit of the Islands? Yep, sure, no problem. And we've got the newer Alaska as well. And then we've got uh, Alaska... What is this? Disney is this Cars? Cars 2? Yeah, Cars 2 or something. And then we've got Most West Coast. Is that JetBlue or is that Alaska as well? No, that looks like an Alaska with the chevrons here. That looks like an Alaska A320 or something like that. So sweet. Uh, welcome to the stream, friends. Without further ado, let's jump inside the cockpit. Let's get the Zebo ready to rock and roll. Again, thank you guys so, so much for the 64,000 subscribers and all the kind words. You guys are absolutely awesome. Is that a, hold on. Is that an Iceland Air 757 departing? No, it's wing, not. Wing, wing, okay, don't spill the beans, lol, ha, ha, congrats. <laughs> Cap Geo, huge no floaties to you, my man. Thank you very, very much for support there. Uh, dude, I appreciate you, man. And thank you for those kind words as well, man, for 64,000. I appreciate you, dude. All right, let's do it, friends. Let's jump in the pit. Let's get this bad boy programmed ready to rock and roll. We are heading into Juno for the first leg today and then over to Ketchikan for the second leg. Some beautiful visuals today, some amazing approaches really looking forward to this one um i also let everybody know the plan this evening so we will be live again at i think about 6 45 7 o'clock eastern time i'll be going live again for our event this evening where we will be flying from denver to salt lake city again in the zebo uh repping the united uh colors and then we are obviously live again Sunday, tomorrow, we're going to be doing the uh, return or the finale, if you will, of the Alaska Milk Run. We're going to be going from Ketchikan back up to Juneau and then hop it on a flight from Juneau down to Seattle. That's going to wrap up our weekend again on VATSIM. That will be tomorrow. Uh, Monday, no stream. The stream on Monday has been postponed for our big reveal event on Tuesday. Listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush. You guys all know what the reveal event is. We've got the Boeing yoke, which we are going to be showcasing here on the channel on Tuesday. So make sure you mark your calendars. We've got a new yoke out on the market. Um, so Tuesday is the day that that's going to be happening. Tuesday, regular stream time uh, will be live at noon Eastern time. Um, but we'll be taking a look at the new yoke in depth, looking at it, cameras on it and everything around it so uh very excited about that one it's going to be absolutely awesome so again no stream monday we've just postponed it to tuesday so the monday stream is going to be on tuesday so we can do our uh big reveal all right friends so without further ado let's go ahead and jump inside the cockpit and we'll get this bad boy programmed ready to rock and roll uh first thing is first i'm just going to pause my uh, hey, camera. Captain, hey. did you know that smuggling booze as cargo into dry towns is a pretty big money maker for some people? Yes. I'm guarding the bar cart with my life. This guy, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you very, very much for your continued support, sir. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. That's very, very kind, man. Thank you, thank you. Do I know the price of the oak? Everything I will be able to speak about is on Tuesday. I'm still currently under an NDA. Uh, which is a non-disclosure agreement, which means that I really cannot speak about it. Um, like I said, I've been given the okay from Thrustmaster to obviously speak to you guys about it and let you know what is planned for Tuesday. Um, but other than that, that's all I'm doing. I I'm basically only letting you guys know that we do have the big reveal on Tuesday that will be going down. So if you can tune in, that that that's pretty much it. I've got the okay from Thrustmaster to promote that that will be happening on Tuesday. But other than that, I really can't disclose any other details. That's why there's no, if you go to the joystick cam, there's actually no camera today. It's just going to be a blank screen so that you guys can truly focus in on the arrival. Um, again, I've explained why that's happening. Everything will be back up. So, uh, yeah, no more questions about that. Hopefully you guys understand. I understand there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of comments. Everybody wants to know more about it. Tuesday will be the day we can we can speak about it till our till our hearts are content. So, friends. First things first, we haven't flown this airplane in a while. Uh, I'm going to get some brightness up here. I want to turn all these lights on. We haven't flown the Zebo in a hot minute. Um, did some practice flights last night. Had a lot of fun flying it. Um, really did miss the Zebo. Man, I, I love the 737, dude. It's, it's just one of those things, man. One of those things. Um, okay, cool. First things first, let's go to our electronic flight bag. I do not want to load my previous flight. Let's start our flight leg. We're going to go to weight, fuel, and balance. Okay. 
Start plugging in some information here. As far as the fuel goes, we need 7.6, 7.6. And we'll insert that in our zero fuel weight today. Should be around 60.8 or 60.9 if we're being exact. Uh, which means that we're going to look for a payload weight today of 18.4. Heavy airplane, 18.4. Uh, and that should be good. We'll take a look at that. We'll just keep our eye on the zero fuel and make sure that it somewhat comes up to uh, 60.9 or something in and around there. So yeah um, It is dense down there. It is. Yeah after my slammer last night. I don't miss the Zebos, which is some people do <laughs> Oh man, Shreed's used to flying his Airbuses smashing the Zebos around town. It's all right, Shreed. You know how it goes, man You know how it goes you train your mind and your and your visual, you know a lot of what we do comes to just like uh, depth perception, if you will, right? In a sense, that that to me is the biggest thing. Like when I switch between flying like Airbus and Dash eights and seven thirty sevens and A three forties, is um, the depth perception is just how much higher you are off the ground. If you can kind of play with those in, in your head a little bit, it, it becomes maybe a little bit easier. Not even a little bit easier, but um, yeah, if you just keep those things in mind. All right, the weather in anchorage is uh not very nice winds are 190 at six knots uh is this live weather no let's switch to live weather thank you for some reason it's not going on to live weather it's doing weird things winds are 020 at three knots 10 mile visibility uh it's obviously not raining uh broken at 24 overcast at 31 altimeter 29 Five, three. So that's what I wanted to get here. Two niner, five, three. We'll go ahead and plug that in. Good. Um, okay, so what is our zero fuel weight? 61.5. A. Hey, that's a little bit much. Okay, we're going to put this to 17.8. That's a little bit over what Simbrief is giving me. 60.9. There we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what Simbrief is giving me. Um, okay, cool. So that all looks good. Let's come down here. I do have my FMC out on my desk today. So I'm going to be using that. So we'll go to our route page. We're sitting on the ground here in Anchorage, which is Pank. We're going over to Juno, which is Pajin. Uh, our flight number this afternoon is Alaska Airlines 70. This is a real world flight happening in, I think, 10 or 12 hours or something like that. All the good call signs were, were already captured. So good on you guys for grabbing that. Um, Alaska 70, that's all set. Cool. We're happy with that. Let's go to our departure page. We are planning. Um, so I'm just going to plug that in 60.9. Good. Let's go to our departure page. We are planning the node four departure out of runway three, three route, activate and execute. Uh, again, does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense for the winds. Cool. Um, that's all good. We'll go to our route page. We'll go to our next page. Good from node. We're going direct to cushy spelt with a C, not the good kind of cushy. Um, there we go. And we'll insert that. And from Cushy, we're going to jump on our arrival. We are planning the Arnav Victor runway 08. And I'm going to open up the charts here. We'll take a look. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the approach into Juno, but it is a, um, it's a, it's like an off center approach. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, Okay, that's good. If we go to here, pageant, we open up our charts. We're going to go to approach. We're going to do the Arnav Victor. Um, we could probably take it from uh, Elephant, Eef. So that's where we're going to be taking it from. Last night, I did it from here, and it just it does this weird-ass turn and then in. So I'm going to take it from Eef. So we're going to fly from uh, Cushy all the way down here to Eef, and then we'll come in and we'll make the arrival. Which should be good like that. Hello, Captain Daddy Hello. Canada. American Phil Ishiator here to say that I want some of the good kind of cushy. Uh, if you know what yes. I mean, Keck. Uh, Jesus. Amy's losing her mind, man. Thank you for the support. Mr. American Aviator coming up with these incredible names. I don't know how he does it. Thank you for the support, my friend. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Hey, Rob, what's up, man? There's a bunch of mods around. Feel free to ask your question, too. <laughs> Thank you, American. Appreciate you, man. This guy, dude. All right, so we're going to take it from Eve. That is set and selected. Good. We'll go to execute. Let's go to our legs page. Scroll through here from Cushy. We're going to go to Eve. Good. And then from... Uh, see, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. 
So it should be from Eve. We should be direct to Nimli. Where's Nimli? I don't see that at all. Uh, from Eef to... Okay, we're just gonna have to insert this in here. So from Neef to Nimli. I'm not quite sure why it's not doing that one. So it should be Neef, Nimli, Elephant, Nimli, and then Ojimi. Populate you. Um, Ojimi, Mene, Molri. So, if we come back down here and we take a look, if we go to previous page, there should be Cushy, Elephant, Nimli, Ojimi, Mene, Molri, and then we're on the go around mugs and chill. All right, cool. That's all set. I'm happy with that. Good. Let's go back to our NitRef page now. Um, take a look at some things here. John, thanks for your support, man. Appreciate when you, When was the last time Captain Canada flew an NDB approach? Who knows, dude? Should be an interesting arrival. Who knows, man? It's been a hot while. Thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. SSR transition puts it all in. Oh, okay. We've got it now, so there's not much point. But thank you very much, John, for the $5 donation as well. Huge channel floaties too, John. Thank you so, so much, man. Absolutely awesome. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you, buddy. All right. Our flight uh, burn today. We're planning on burning 4.1, which is going to give us a reserve of 3.6 or 3.5, we'll call it. Um, cost index will be 35. Our cruise level today will be 35,000 feet. A lot of 35s today. 3.5 on the reserve, 35 on the cost index. Flight level 350. Winds up at 350 are going to be 140 at 39. That's our average. 140 at 39. The ice and deviation this afternoon or morning in Alaska will be minus 3. Not too cold up here in Anchorage. Um, that's all good. Transition altitude is 18,000 feet. That's all set. Let's go to our N1 limits today. Um, no need to do a D rate. We can do 96. Actually, here, we'll do a D rate takeoff. 91.7. That's all fine. That's all set. Go to takeoff. Flaps are going to be 5 degrees. Uh, our CG weight today is 21.2%, which is going to give us a trim value of 5.5. That's set. We've got our V speeds 37, 38, 46. And with all of that, our pre flight is pretty much complete as far as programming the FMC. Let's go ahead and get our. APU to the on position. Fuel pumps are already on. That's all good. We'll continue working some flows up here. Let's get our trim air on. Packs are going to go off. Isolation valve is going to go open. Trim air uh, are going to go off. Let's go to set our cruise altitude, 35,000 feet. APU is spooling, so that's good. Let's get our logo light on as well. And that's pretty much it. No smoking to auto. And we'll get our seatbelt signs on here as well. Okay, cool. I'm happy with all of that. Let's get our autopilot panel set here. We're going to be real lazy. 35,000 feet's going in. Big stretch for me and at Stray Puffed. Hey. Watching this while on a road trip. Puller of spikes dropping the $20 donation. Big stretch for me and Stray Puffed. Watch this while on a road trip. Thanks so much for support, Puller of Spikes. I appreciate you, sir, dropping the $20 donation. Guys, let's get some love in chat. For Polar Spikes, appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Hey, Gap Spots was 319, and it's not, uh, and it's not on nose wheel steering. Do you know how to change that? Uh, in the Tolus menu, probably up here, your plugins, Tolus menu, I think. Hmm. Are you on Airac 21? Uh, I am on the most current Airac, yes. I have updated the simulator and that, so. Uh, you got any recommendations for starting VATSIM? Fly flights that you are very familiar with. Do flights that, like, you know, do the flights that you've done in real life that are, um, you know, that, that, that you've done before. That are, that you can kind of just, you, you already know what you're doing, essentially, right? That would be my biggest thing. Uh, 146 on the speed today. Good. Let's go to the overhead. Our APU is on and available. APU generator is going on. APU bleed is on. You'll see the duct pressure come alive. Beautiful. Let's get our anti-collision light on. That'll go ahead and remove the jetway and close those doors so that everybody know we're ready to go. Go to ground services. We'll disconnect the GPU. Good. Let's go to plugins. Go to better pushback. Start pushback. Is now complete. We're out of cockpit. Please and show me where you want to go. Instead, I don't want to go into anybody, so I'm just going to go like this. Oh, boy. Everybody's pushing at the same ground time. Ground to cockpit. Oh, boy. Toe is driving up. Oh, boy. Yeah, I would say I would say do flights that, like, you're really familiar with. You know, do, do flights that you're you're comfortable with. 
And if you're not really comfortable with any flights, maybe get yourself comfortable with a couple flights and then, um, then you can maybe look at jumping on the network. Those would be my suggestions, to be honest. Yeah, every single person pushing at the same time, which is not good, because now we're just going to be all sitting at the runway, waiting for one another to depart. <clears throat> Remember not to push at the same time? Oh no, that's that's long gone out the window. Okay. I don't think people quite understand that concept yet. Connect. Jeremy, what's up, man? How are you, dude? That's the next thing. <clears throat> pardon me. That's the next thing we need to teach everybody is not to push at the same time. Because then it just creates an absolute clusterfuck where nobody can move and nobody can do anything and some people are ready before other people and... Yeah. This is what happens. What is the ETA? I believe it's an hour and 25 minutes to Juno. An hour and 26 minutes. An hour and 26 minutes into Juno today. Should we talk on Unicom once you want coordinating your departure so that there's no traffic jam on uncontrolled airports? Ah, so connected and that's asking way too inserted. much. All right, we're going to let these guys go by. I don't want to add to the traffic jam. So if you already did push back, can you... Yeah, well, I just don't want to add to the traffic jam, so we'll just... Did you get your issue from the last stream sorted out? What was the issue from the last stream? Um, the weather issue? Yes, we got the weather issue sorted. Just flew the milk run IRL. It's terrible, but the flight from Juno to Ketchikan was so peaceful. Early morning flights are always so nice. Damn. Awesome, dude. I'll ask Ant-Man. Very cool. Exclamation point scenery. Exclamation point scenery 2 in chat. If you're interested in seeing the scenery that we're using today, this is Freeware Anchorage, Freeware Juno, and Payware Ketchikan. That's, uh, that's kind of what we're doing today. I think the Zebo deserves an award, honorary air transport license. Hey, man. Listen, I'm a huge advocate of the Zebo. I fly it. I fly it as much as I can. I fly it as much as I can without people getting upset at me for flying it. The Q400 streak is done. I mean, considering we flew it for over two weeks straight, don't don't you worry. We will be back in the Q400. That I can promise you. Do not worry. Mr. Polarbit, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hope all is well. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, had Microsoft with Simba for seven days now, 43 hours flight time, 53 successful takeoffs, two successful landings, having fun 100%. Nice, dude. That's a full-time job you got in there with that bad boy right now. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yes. I'm sure TCAS is on. We'll put you guys on. Good. You can go over to legs. Good. All right. Um, so these guys still haven't moved. We're still going to wait on them. A livery with sub pop records, that's freaking awesome. Yep, I actually have that livery to be honest with you. Yeah. Yep, absolutely, Schmitty. That one's gonna be next. My Q400 streak ends, yours is about to start. Did they finally send it over to you, Travelino? That's absolutely awesome, man. Good morning, Cap. Love the milk run flight. Can't wait. Nice, Kyle. It is a beautiful flight to do. I'm excited for this one, man. We don't really fly into Juno all that much. I'm excited. I'm excited about flying into Ketchikan as well. It's such a cool little airport. Um, really, really fun airport. All went well for the inaugural departure of Avalo uh, out of New Haven uh, to Florida. They have announced the seventh destination that's not Florida or Burbank to be determined. Nice. First time landing uh, and somehow did a textbook landing with the pilot. Uh, of flight 390 couldn't do it uh, with two tries. Crazy, man. Yeah. Now, I'm still waiting, but I'm sure I'm getting it soon. No doubt about it. We've got a fully uh, full day planned tomorrow. So really hope I get it sent over in time. I hope so as well, man. I'm surprised that they wouldn't have. You know, I'm sure there's something that needs to be done, but. The safety instruction card shows the exact location. To use the vest, open the cover by pulling the red tab. Zebo all day today, Daniel. Yeah. I go into training next month for the 7-3. Been using the Zebo to prepare. Uh, big difference for a bus guy. Yeah, absolutely, Jay. 100%, man. Congrats on that. Sounds awesome. Cap, read the message I said. Hey, Cap, I'll try and watch your vids. I go to Dubai in December on the 5th on British Airways. Very cool, man. Enjoy that, dude. That's going to be absolutely awesome. That will be awesome. Arabian, Alaska. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the livery. 
I don't know. No worries, Daniel. Thanks for stopping by, man. Why are they not moving? Uh, I'm third in line and pushed up to the first two minutes before them. Uh, that's, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. It's kind of the problem when everybody pushes together. Everybody has different times that they need to start the airplane and do this and do that. So, yeah. I'm just going, I'm doing a straight pushback though, so we really shouldn't be any problems. Are you live on VATSIM? Uh, these other airplanes would indicate that yes, I would be live on VATSIM. Uh, hoping from London to Dubai will be a 380, not a 350. I'm uh, not a fan of the small planes. Uh, the 350 is not small by any means, I can guarantee you that. It was a large airplane, man. All right, park brakes off. Starting pushback, and you may start engine. Thank you. What was the altimeter again? It was 2953, which we've set in there. Cool. All right, let's go to the overhead and engine number two to ground. I don't know why I just made that noise, but okay. Wait for 25% and then we'll introduce uh, fuel. How do you become a monthly member? You should see a join button. Uh, if you're using iOS or Android, you may not get the little join button, but um, if that is the case, you need to go on Safari and log into your YouTube on there. Ooh, look at that United Star Wars livery right there. Dude, we're getting everything today. We're getting all the cool ass liveries on the network. Yes, sir. United Star Wars, dude, that's so sick. God, I love these CSLs. An Alaska 319 there as well. Delicious. Engine number one to ground. I'm just gonna start these bad boys up. We're not gonna waste any time. Arabia E320 uh, somehow put EBY instead of uh, ASA. Yeah, that's. I think that's exactly it. I, like I mentioned, he's not signing in as, as the correct name. What sounds are we using? Uh, default Zebo sounds. Introduce fuel. Q400 rehab today. <laughs> this is just me remembering that I have, you know, 15 Operation other airplanes complete. that I can fly. That's parking brake. Park brake's on. Disconnecting tow, stand by. Thank you. All right, looks like we've got two good engines. Starter cutoff switches out. Let's get our generator one, generator two. Engine bleeds on, AP bleed off, packs to the auto position. Isolation valve goes to auto. Pro peats are coming on. APU is coming off. Engine start switches to continuous. We'll get our flaps set to five degrees. Disconnect. And the rest of that is looking good. Uh, trim value was 575. Get right about there. All right, cool. Looking good. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Thank and you. Signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Yes, sir. All right, we'll do our recall. Looking good. Again, this is freeware scenery, guys. Everybody should own this scenery. Huge shout out to Zero Dollar Payware. Absolutely beautiful. Taxi lights coming on. Let's go. Love the great freeware and X-Plane. There is a lot, man. Yeah. Is nobody departing yet what's going on with the departures here guys please do not just wait until like i start my taxi and then we have to sit and wait to watch please don't be that person shoot some kind of nepal flights to see everest that would be fun
beautiful airport, man. Tyler, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Xander, what's up, man? Good to see you. What are you running for clouds and weather, Captain? Uh, you can put exclamation point clouds in chat. And for weather, we're using active sky. Why is the first plane not moving? I have no clue. He's probably waiting for me. Sure enough, look at that. Dude, a thousand hours in X-Plane? Awesome, man. Congrats. Base right now, we're in the number five, right? So, okay, Alaska 7005 is going to hold short to be for the traffic. It's almost like Cap has done this before. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe once or twice, eh, Mopar? Once or twice. All right, so we're holding it short because there's traffic on a tra traffic doing pattern work. Oh yeah, there he is. We got somebody doing pattern work. Don't rear end them? No, we're good. Get the park brake on. Feels like a 737 is harder to fly uh, than what compared to what? Boy, he's slow. We could have got a departure out for sure. What is he in? Is it a DC-3? Oh, he is, yeah. He's doing circuits in a DC-3. I know you're fine, dude. You are fine. Don't worry. The D DC-3 is slow. Look at that. <laughs> it, like, barely moves in the sky. The grease is landing after waiting here for so long. Dickard with Dave. What's up, man? How are you, dude? We need a Zebo level 7.3 for FS2020. I mean, we've got PMDG. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a slow DC3. <laughs> You're fine. You're doing. You're fine, man. Doing. All right, guys. Sit together. Uh, all four of you. Five of you. Okay. I'll buy, I will extend my uh, downwind leg for you. Uh, for all your five today. <laughs> Nice guy. The one good thing about the multi-stop flights in North is that you can get off the plane and get caught up with the gossip. There you go. Look at that. That's badass. He's doing touch and goes in the DC-3. It's awesome. Thank you. Break off. These guys are going to start lining up. Yeah, very cool, Captain Colorado. I got that already, yeah. 
Capital Time, did you do Microsoft 2020 like a month and ago? What's going on? I missed them. Microsoft? We'll be back in, man. We, it was, we, we flew it like a week ago. What are you talking about? Like two weeks ago, max. We flew in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Traffic, uh, Alaska 7005, it's a departing 33. Remember you heard some time ago when the pandemic started and everyone was typing, I guess we're flying virtually now? Yep. Now we're all professional virtual pilots. All right, let's arm our auto throttle. We're going to go VNAV. We're going to go LNAV. This guy's lining up. Yeah, there we go, boys. Not wasting any time. Saw the A32NX on Discord that VNAV is coming soon. Very cool. Very cool. I'll be doing the event with you guys as well. Nice. Geo Sweet. You going to stream it? That's awesome, man. For good old X plane, eh, I like both sims, man. If I'm being like 100% honest, all right. Language traffic, Alaska 7205, zero point passing uh, 1.2, flight uh, 370 on the note and four departure. Make it traffic, Alaska 70 lining up, runway 33. All right, landing lights, strobe lights, wing lights. Light for takeoff, okay, the sure risky, man. Flight. You can do it. I ain't doing it. Too risky. Moose one. Ready for departure, eh? All right, let's start our uh, our clock quickly here. We're going to give two minutes separation. That way there will be no factors on course if anybody has different weather, anybody's doing anything differently. It feels weird being in the 7.3 again after flying the Q400. Everything's so, like, small in the Q400. Our uh, visuals in the Zebo were better. What? The visuals are tremendous. What are you talking about? Considering the performance that we're getting to, 60 FPS, I think the visuals look amazing, man. Don't be fooled by YouTube compression. Whatever you watch on YouTube, there's always, like, especially live streams, there's a compression. Don't be fooled by that. Now the Zebo feels like a triple after the Q4. Mopar, you're telling me, dude. I was practicing last night doing some landings and stuff. I saved a couple scenarios like I do with the Tolis. Was doing some practice flights last night. Holy, man. Took me a good, like, five, six landings to be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's right. This is how you fly a 737. Yeah. Any news on the Flight Factor 7, 8? No. Nope. What do you do for work? IRL cap. You're looking at it, Chuck. Full-time content creator here on YouTube, man. Very fortunate, dude. Have an unbelievable group of people here supporting the channel, members, and, and stuff. It's pretty crazy, man. All right, there's a minute and a half. We'll call that fine. That should be plenty of time. Let's restart our clock. Joystick cam's going on. Remember... There is no joystick, there's no camera, there's nothing to see right now. I'm just doing it so that it's a blank, blank screen for you guys so you can really, truly enjoy. Um, all right, we're looking good. Let's do it, friends. Let's get the hell out of here on our way to uh, Juno. Throttle's up to about 40%. Looking good. Chrono's on. Doga. Let's go. Forward down pressure on the stick. Takeoff power set. Airspeed is rolling. Eighty knots. Columns neutral. See. Now my throttle's doing really D1, weird D1. shit. Rotate. 
Rotate. Quite sure what's going on with my Lots throttles. Okay, you just go off right now. You're, clearly, you cannot be trusted. What's going on with Zebo? Positive rate. Let's bring the gear up. Poor Zebo trying to kill me. Did that to me last night, too, off departure. I'm not quite sure why, but... 1,000. No, no, I won't stop. Don't you worry. Have throttle lock on. That's why I'm not sure why it's doing it. Run my turn off. Some taxi lights coming off. Let's get our flaps up position one. Let's lock our gear. Same problem with the auto throttle. It does it to me ran with the newest Zebo that's it started doing this. I don't know, man. Who knows? Flaps clean. No comment, Fred. Really, Schmitty? It's so weird, man. I don't know what's causing it. I think I'm just going to go manual throttles from now on. Off of departure. Can't say anything. Never mind. Nothing to see. All right. Let's get our weather radar on. We'll bop this guy open to 20. Still hand flying this bad boy. A little bit windy up here. Speed coming up to 250. We'll bring that nose down. And we're actually coming up on 10,000 feet. There we go. 10,000 feet. Landing lights off. Engine start switches to auto. Logo lights off. Wing lights off. Beautiful. Let's bring that nose down. We're going to gain some speed here to our climb speed. Pilot's going on. Bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Sweet. Awesome. That was a nice departure. I enjoyed that. Okay. Uh, after takeoff, checklist, gears up and off, flaps are cleaned, all the lights are off, everything's looking good up there. Sweet. 
We're looking good. Cool. For the clouds, use preset one or two. Uh, preset one, but it's I've edited the preset, the King's Ace. If you'd like the preset that I'm using, join the Discord and you will uh, you can do that. Recommend turning auto throttle back on. Yes, should be fine now. A few streams ago, we actually uh, did have somebody flying with us, and the call sign was Air Force One. Yes. Uh, Cap, what is uh, our call sign? ASA, Alaska, Alaskan Airlines. The one time I stepped foot on the tarmac in uh, Anchorage was refreshing 44 October. Oof. Never get tired of these cloudscapes? Dude, they look beautiful, man. Yep. They look beautiful. You hear that uh, FS Realistic came out for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I was part of the beta. Really good add-on. Uh, Juan, you want my honest opinion, man? We don't need more sounds in Microsoft Flight Simulator, dude. I think the sounds in Microsoft Flight Simulator are absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I, I can't get on board with this, dude. And you know me, I'm a huge advocate of XP Realistic. I'm using it right now. But the only reason I'm using XP Realistic is for the head movements, um, which I find, you know, reserving my comment because I don't really know the developer all that well. I feel like it's almost like a little bit of a ploy. He had such a good product with, and I don't really think it's the same, you know, if you're just adding sounds and there's no camera movement, there's no head movement, there's no nothing, then I mean, I'm not really interested. I don't really care about flap sounds and you know, and, and, and wind noise and um, the ground roll is nice to have, like the ground bumps and the ground roll and stuff like that, that's really awesome. But again, XP Realistic truly comes through with the head movements and the stuff that it allows you to do. The fact that they've released their version of XP Realistic for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it's missing more than half of the features. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to get on board with that one. Don't know if I'm getting on on board with that one. Hey, Cap, how are you? I downloaded X-11. Um, and where can you add liveries and planes for X-11? I try and download the Zebo mod right now, but I don't know if it works. Uh, Jaren, inside the aircraft folder. Petition for the more to love livery next flight. I don't even know if I have it. I'll have to download it. What add-ons use for the clouds and sky? Uh, exclamation point clouds in chat, man, because it gets asked a million times. It's already been asked 50 times as well today. So exclamation point clouds. Come on, you love seeing, uh, getting shit scared out of you when they introduce the pilot sneeze. Oh, man. No. Oh. Special meal, would you please identify yourself to a flight attendant? Passenger Escobar, please. Oh, baby. I want to join on Vatson, but I don't think that I'm good enough for the ETC communications. Tonight is a stream for newbies, right? It is, yes. It is, it is. Captain okay, I'm heading for JFK with EIDW and Delta 777, Microsoft Flight Simulator, long haul. Nice. Uh-oh, that means that you bought the... Captain Sim 777 though. That is not nice. I cannot condone that, Kane. I know that we're very limited for aircraft, but I'm still not going to condone purchasing and flying the Captain Sim 777. Uh, I haven't flown the Zebo for a while. Has performance been improved? Yes. He's moved to C++. A lot of the stuff is being made on C++ now. Performance of the Zebo is really good. If you look down here, you can see my FPS. We're pretty much in cruise above 60. Anywhere that we're flying, usually above 45, 50 for our arrivals and stuff. So, yeah, it is. I'm sick of Passenger Escobar. <laughs> I'm with you, man. I'll be the only uh, new beast tonight. There you go. Yeah. FS Realistic will have some takeoff and landing head vibrations and movement. I mean, he plans on adding them in the future. We all know how that goes with flight simulators. Oh, we plan on adding this. Oh, we plan on doing this. Again... If you're going to use the same name, XP Realistic and FS Realistic, I feel like it's just, I feel like it's not the right move to like release it as, as it's half done as it is right now. Um, as it is right now, there's no head movements, there's no, there's no, there's nothing that makes XP Realistic truly worth it. Again, if you look here, braking, cockpit ambience, G-force, ground roll, ground shaking, head anticipation, natural movements, over speeds. <laughs> Touchdown effects, none of that is present Passenger right Escobar's luggage got the dog barks. 
Thank you for the support, C2A. I appreciate you, man. Huge note floaties too. So all of the things that I use, right? So braking action. Cockpit ambience is probably still there, but G-forces, not there. Ground roll, not there. Ground shaking, not there. Head anticipation, not there. Overspeed, not there. Touchdown front main turbulent shaking, all not there. So all of the things that I use XP Realistic for are not there. So that's where I'm saying, like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like before I get invested and before I, I condone and want to support a project like that, I'm going to wait for all of the features to be made available. That's all I'm saying. I feel like he's kind of just using the name and how popular XP Realistic is for X-Plane and like kind of just half-assedly making a Microsoft Flight Sim. Now, I know that Microsoft Flight Simulator's SDK currently doesn't allow for camera movements, head movements, head shaking, turbulence, uh, that type of stuff, head movements. I know that it doesn't allow it. So that's where I'm trying to say, as a developer, I think like you have to figure out exactly where your plugin's at and what your plugin does before maybe putting it out. And anyways, that's just my opinion on it. I don't, like I said, I have nothing negative to say. I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm just, if you're gonna, if you're gonna cross promote a program and you're gonna say, hey, we have FS Realistic now, which is the same as XP Realistic for X-Plane, but it's not at all. It's like half of the product or 35% of the product. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're 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 in the right start of your product, and I wish you all the best. But I wouldn't release it claiming FS realistic, and it's you know all these things. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's just me. That's just a personal personal opinion. The only thing I found it good for was outside slash airport environment sounds, and exactly like Microsoft already does that plenty fine, dude. And you can turn all of those up in the settings within Microsoft. That's exactly what I'm saying. This isn't introducing anything new but the guy's selling it as like this whole new XP FS realistic type thing. And it's like, well, it's, it's, it's a handful of sounds that you've put together. That's hardly FS realistic in comparison to XP realistic. Hardly, man. They found a way to get around the camera SDK. Many of those movements are there. Check out Q8's video from yesterday. Okay, I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look, man. As far as I've been, you know, what, what was shown to me and what was brought to my attention, I was not, I was not like pleased with it. I did not, you know, I didn't say like, oh, I have to buy this. So yeah, I'll have to take a look, man, unless maybe they've done some crazy stuff and maybe I'm completely wrong. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll have to take a look at that video by Q8 Pilot. Because if they do add all of those head movements and stuff like that, then it's definitely worth it. Yeah, for sure. Only the shake of the camera. I mean, that's still, it's still better, but yeah. Like, I, I would like to see the same features made in XP Realistic available in FS Realistic. That's all I'm saying. If you're gonna, if you're gonna call it the same product and you're gonna sell it as the same, you know, to the same population, well, we're gonna expect that it at, at least performs the same way, right? I don't think we're wrong in thinking that. Should I get enhanced skyscapes because I have a good preset for clouds? I just wanna make sure it's worth the 15 bucks. Uh, Pilot, you have to download the demo. You can download the demo and you can, um, yeah. You can download the demo and you can uh, fly around, I think, for like 15 or 30 minutes or something. Yeah. People always try to get you riled up. No, I don't think so. They just know that I'm super passionate about flight simulation and stuff, man. It's really all it is. I don't even get really riled up, right? It's just that I get so passionate. There's just so many... There's unfortunately so many people that try and take advantage of the flight sim community that I'm always on guard. I'm always on edge because I'm, I'm waiting for that next, that next scam. You know what I mean? That next Captain Sim, that next Breebok 737 Max. I'm, I'm constantly waiting for that because it's just inevitable. And that's the industry that we're in, unfortunately. Is the Autogate plugin in SAM free? They are, yes, yeah. What the developer did was introduce vibrations that simulate the head movement it doesn't look exactly like x -Plane, but it still feels real. I got it for free as I was part of the beta, and I like it. Okay, interesting one. I'll have to take a look at it, man. Maybe I need to do a little bit more research into it, but yeah. Is Enhanced Skyscapes heavy on the FPS? It depends on your system. I run it in Vulcan, and it's not that bad, to be honest with you. Yeah. Do I use X-Camera? I can't condone X-Camera, to be honest with you. I actually really don't like the plugin. The only reason I use X-Camera is because Track IR. Explains native support for track IR is absolutely abysmal. It's 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 basically unusable. 
if you've if you own track ir and you've ever tried to use it without x camera or something like that it it hurts your head just how bad it is so the only reason i i use x camera is because of the track ir support that is the only reason if it didn't offer track ir support i would not be using it at all i do not like it i don't advocate it i'm not a fan of it Fortunately, I bought both the planes. The Xbox Microsoft Flight Simulator is just not fantastic. Damn. I uh, wonder why Microsoft hasn't opened up the camera SDK. It would be nice to have Chase plane for Microsoft Flight Sim. Yep, I would agree. I'd agree 100%, man. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Maybe they have their own stuff planned. I don't know. That's really the only thing that I could think of, you know. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so if you're... Uh, and, yeah, you can use X camera for free, so... Perhaps a Shift 2... Uh, I'd have to get our sounds up here. There we go. Now we can do a shift two. Shift two. Wowzers. I love a good 7.3. Delicious. Oof. That beautiful Alaska. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so ready to get my track IR. Do you not have track IR yet? See, the, the, the native track IR support for Microsoft Flight Simulator is awesome. It's really, really good. Nice stream, Captain. I'm really enjoying it. Dom, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Weird, because my auto gate doesn't work with almost all airports. Uh, do I need something in my scenery? Uh, nope. The scenery just needs to, like, basically accept auto gate. If it doesn't use auto gate, it uses uh, SAM, you know. Land from this view? No. <laughs> we'll just do replays from this view very excited for Juno. Uh, this place is amazing. It is beautiful. Yeah, what's the weather? Um, you always have to be careful with the weather here in Juno because there's no ILS approach. It's an RNAV approach. What is track IR? It's this little thing that you see hanging off my, my head which allows my camera to move left and right within the simulator. That's not nice weather. Winds are 110 at 16 knots, 6 mile visibility, rain, few at 1,000, broken at 31, overcast at 45. Jesus, man. This will be a fun arrival. What visual mods do I have? Really, I'm not running anything visual mod. I mean, we've got enhanced skyscapes, which you can put exclamation point clouds. Uh, in chat, and that's pretty much it. That's all that we're running as far as, like, graphical mods. I don't use any, um, I don't use any, uh, reshade. I don't use Shade X or whatever the hell it's called. I don't use any of that. Perfect for a spicy landing? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. It's gonna be a landing and a half. Hopefully. Hopefully, man. What, I wonder what the weather is. What's the Metar in, um, what's the Metar in Ketchikan? What's the ETA? It literally says right up top, Virgil, 57 minutes, my friend. Always add about 10 or 15 minutes onto that to get us to the gate. But yeah, oh, look at those winds. Easy, 170 at, thir at three knots, 10 mile visibility, few at 500, scattered at 18, overcast at 22. At least we've got an ILS in the Ketchikan. So we'll be able to jump on the ILS. That'll be good. Cap, is there a stretch day? I love the virtual stretch day because it's my birthday. Uh, great stream so far. Kevin, happy birthday, man. Thank you, thank you, man. Happy birthday to you, sir. Uh, hope you won't land on a glacier. Nope, hopefully not. Guys, bear with me for a sec. We're going to have a stretch. I'm just going to fill up my glass of water, and uh, I'll be right back. Give me uh, 30 seconds. That was loud.
All right. Cool. We're cruising. We're looking good. Top of the sense in 300 miles. Is it me or has anybody else noticed how the Zebo is a little bit bouncy recently? Like the flight model seems to be very, uh, I don't know how to say it. Very, um, like floaty almost, balloony. Very balloony. The flight model seems to be m very mucho balloons. Maybe it's just me. Oh no, I have to do a Google Translate. I don't even know what that means. Igor, if that's bad, I'm gonna ban you. Google Translate. What's he saying? That's not nice. Oh. Igor. That is not nice, my friend. Who wants to ban him? Who wants to ban... He said, you're a shit pilot. Eat piss. How do you eat piss? Do you freeze it first and then do you eat it? That's a good question. Igor, can you, can you explain that to me? How do you eat piss? How can you be a shit pilot and eat piss? It's interesting. Thank you for that. You've made my Saturday. I think Igor has a problem. Igor has a mental problem. I don't think Igor's okay in the head. What's wrong with people, man? Like, imagine, dude, just, just for like a second, imagine your life. Imagine your life was just like so sad that you had to come on, like somebody who's just flying, like minding his own business, just flying an airplane, man, just like having fun, you know? Just doing what he loves, flying an airplane, not bugging anybody, not not doing anything. You know, just nothing. And imagine coming into a live stream and like saying something like that. Just imagine, dude. Like I feel so bad for these kids, man. These kids, these people. Maybe some of them are adults. I I, I mostly think that they're kids because they're just they don't think, right? Their their brain, you know, capacity is just not at a level of, of what we would assume it is, so just imagine, man. It's sad, dude. Like, it's sad, man. Like, I've never once gone into, like, a live stream and, like, just, like, started, like, hounding on somebody. Like, I've watched live streams and I've been like, okay, this is not for me. I'm not watching this again. You know what I mean? But, oof. It's crazy, man. Feel bad, man. I wish I could be your daddy. Come, son, I will teach you the ways of the internet. Daddy Canada is here, no problem. Because clearly your real one's not doing a good job. I don't know if you saw my message earlier in regards to the throttle issue. Make sure your hardware throttle lock is on on the table for the Zebo. Uh, yes, TJ, it usually is. Father Canada. Yep. That's it. Everybody just bring me your adoption papers and I'll sign. Cap Daddy Canada's here. Fires, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Captain, I have a special request. And you might tell me to put in the Discord. Could you go Canada city hopping in an after dark stream? I beg you. Canada city hopping? What do you mean? Don't we do that all the time? Didn't we do that last week? Mm. 
new merch op new merch option shirts that say daddy canada oh boy i don't know how that one will go over oh see so hit pog we need some scenery to be honest with you Remember guys, keep it English in chat, please. Is that live time? I think it's like an hour ahead. Live time's like pitch black, I think. Like doesn't get like bright till like 10 a.m. There you go, Chappie. Yeah, should be pretty easy to understand, yeah. Forget the clocks go back an hour tonight? Yes. Well, of course. I'm waiting for, uh... We don't have any decent scenery for, um... Uh, Victoria. Weird is always good, yes. How do you activate the throttle lock in the Zebo? It should be in the tablet. Under general config, I think. I'm gonna take a look here in a sec. C2A. Eagle needs to lay off the vodka, and that's coming from me. Also, I think you need to check the front lavatory. I believe Smitty is in there tampering with the smoke detector and lighting up a cigar. Smitty? What are you doing in there? C2A, thank you for the continued support, my friend. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Do you have the WestJet livery at Disney Magic? I do, yes. Uh oh, I've been found out lighting up the blunt. <laughs> Schmitty's on the cushy, on the way to cushy. Eight hours, bottle the throttle. I know that here in Canada, a lot of the airlines have made it mandatory that if you're a pilot, you can't smoke pot. I don't know, man. Just judging by personal experience, I'd rather have somebody that smokes pot than is an alcoholic and drinks. That's just personal, of course. I don't know who I would prefer as a pilot, a drunk pilot or a stoned pilot. I really don't know. Probably stoned. I feel like a stoned pilot would be more... Yeah, I don't even know. Tom, what's up, man? Uh, Cap, thoughts about the flight just MQ400? For most people, it's very buggy and don't have, uh, meaning things like terrain, TCAS, weather radar. It's very expensive for the Tolson and I, and I range without, uh, I mean, yes and no, Philip. All of those things will be implemented, just they're not available on release, but. Oh, uh, Igor, you made, you made a new account. Hi, Igor. You must like attention, eh? Who's gonna grab that account? Igor, the irony in your statement of you telling me to go to school while spelling school wrong is just... I can't even tell you how ironic it is. The irony. Go to school and spell school wrong. Good lord, son. May the Lord Jesus bless your soul, my special little child. Goodbye. Holy fuck. Go to school. Spells school wrong. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. You can't make that up. As long as he's stoned every time he flies. OK, 
creating a Google account takes a lot of time. That's a lot of effort. Oh, dude, he'll be back. Watch. He'll be back with another account. Here we go. Somebody lost their kid on the internet. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. The internet, man. You kept your speed at the top of the page. Is it ISA or ground speed? That's ground speed. Foolish mortal, coming up in a business class. Huge enough floaties to you, my friend. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. Really do appreciate that. Our newest member, Foolish Mortal. Thanks so much, Foolish. Appreciate you, man. Welcome to the crew, dude. Thank you much for your support. Be careful, though. I have to go back to school. So I don't know how much I can stream. <laughs> have you got to try the Thrustmaster Boeing yoke at the expo? Uh, it wasn't working at the expo. It was there for us to see and look, but it wasn't working. Apply for the position of flight attendant on Captain Canada flights. Where can I send my CV? <laughs> oh man. Is there an app to follow people on Vatsim like Flight Radar? Uh, yep, you can use. What is there? Smitty got caught smoking the dankest broccoli in all of Vegas. The electric lettuce, the reefer, the giggle nuggets, the good good, that wacky tabacky, those married iguanas, that trap cabbage, some of Satan's spinach. You're insane, man. Huge dumb floaties to you, sir. How could you get caught in a state where it's legal? Schmitty out there just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> I want to replay that. We're replaying that. Smitty got caught smoking the dankest broccoli in all of Vegas. The electric lettuce, the reefer, the giggle nuggets, the good good, that wacky tabacky, those married iguanas, the trap cabbage, some of Satan's spinach. Good donation. Thank you, buddy. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right. How do we go? So I think throttle block's on because I just idled my throttles and there was no problem. Um, I think it's going to be in here. Hardware. Uh, auto throttle engage lock throttle. Yes. It's on. I'm not quite sure what that is. What's CFY hardware? I don't know what that is. The wacky tobacco. Chronic. Uh, I'm not sure, Cam Colorado. It should be that. Do you think the Q4 will get the HGS? What's HGS? In the ring tonight, uh, weighing 54 pounds, soaking wet. <laughs> oh, man. What are you gonna do, Davis? What are you gonna do, man? Hey, Cam Canada, uh, is the other part of the milk run gonna be on Sunday? Uh, we're not gonna really do the quote unquote official milk run. Uh, tomorrow, the flights that we're gonna do, we're gonna go from Ketchikan back to Juneau, and then we're gonna fly from Juneau down to Seattle. That's the plan for tomorrow. So, kind of just like an Alaska weekend, if you will. Uh, as far as like scenery and stuff go, we don't have the best scenery for the other airports. Um, but yeah. Monkey Nut! Drop of the dollar donation. Appreciate you, monkey. Test. This worked. Except $3 for, <laughs> for uh, Amy to talk. Thanks for support, monkey. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, dude. By default, next point 11, shift 2 is the default. Uh, yeah, it should be default. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Kevin! Dropping the 7 bomb. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, dude. 
Um, Flag Moose, they relate to back in the day how the only way that these, these little communities and towns would be able to get cargo in was through the plains. <clears throat> so they dubbed them the Milk Runs. Essentially kind of like the milkman that delivered, right? What if crappy flights some devs unleash ego or every time you speak your mind? I can't think of any other reason why this twerp would say that. Man. Sorry, man. <laughs> Dude, if I had a nickel for every time some kid said something mean to me on the internet, I'd be filthy rich, sir. Filthy rich. Do not worry, my friend. Like I've always said to everybody, the first thing that you're going to do is if you ever want to really get into this and and you know stream a little bit more than a hobby and actually turn this into a job first thing you got to understand is you have to have the thickest skin if you do not have the thickest skin you will definitely be in some trouble um i'll just put it this way man i totally understand how like these bigger streamers like streamers that you know that like get bullied and, and are on like a much bigger level i totally understand why like mental health is just non-existent when it comes to like streaming and stuff like that man like i i i totally like understand it and i totally see it and it's it sucks man it really does suck that you know people have to basically take their shitty existence out on other people but it's always been that way you know what i mean i think it's just it's a lot easier on a key to hide behind your screen and your keyboard right and say something like you suck captain canada <laughs> Like, you'll never know who I am. Like, you know, like, it is it is what it is, right? Like, it's... What are you going to do, man? It's it's always been that way. It, it probably will never change. I don't really think it'll change. It's something that's probably going to be prominent for a very, very long time, you know? It's unfortunate, man, but it is what it is, dude. You just kind of got to roll with the punches, right? Life goes on, man. At the end of the day, I'm here doing what I love doing. And those people are still obviously hating their lives <laughs> you know so i mean that's another you know thing that you can take from it dude is you know you're last for it so here's round two <laughs> smitty got caught smoking that janky wanky some of that rwandan gupta that herbal terrorist some of that giggle bush hitting the j-bone a little bit of the prickly maple leaf <laughs> let's get er done boys this guy man Absolutely Only Captain insane. Canada can time the smoke weed every day line in the next episode. <laughs> My bad, Harry. Thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge love floaties to you, man. <laughs> American Aviator. Coming up with a donation. Schmitty getting caught again. And look at our speed. Hold on. Our speed is 420. <laughs> As wrong numbers just showed. Our speed's 420 and we just got the dankest donation. My man, American, thanks for support, dude. <laughs> he made another account. This one suck dick Captain Canada. <laughs> ah, this fucking guy, dude. Oh, man. Like, how does YouTube allow that? Google, get your shit together. How do you even allow somebody to make a name like that? Like, what the fuck, Google? What is this? Oh, man. <laughs> It's so obvious too because it takes him like that five to seven minutes. Every time we ban one of an, one of his accounts, it takes like that five to seven minutes to go and create a new account. <laughs> oh dear lord! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> At least it's not Sunday. At least it's Saturday. It's not Sunday. Can't be doing this. Can't be having this type of behavior on Sundays. John dropping another two bombs. Thanks, man. Is everyone hyped up on energy drinks today? It's Saturday, man. Mommy and daddy are just handing out the iPads. <laughs> Here, mommy and daddy need an extra day off. Take the iPad. Go play on the internet. <laughs> oh, Christ. Lord have mercy. All right. Uh, when is your FA promotion? I have no clue, Muffin. No clue, man. What is your enhanced Skyscape preset? Um, you can join the Discord. It's up on the Discord for download. I need more suggestions for a round three. Please send them to me. 
this guy, man. If I still vape, I do, yeah. Daniel Barry. You're missing a doozy this morning, Dan. Welcome, my friend. I hope all's well. The special kids are out today, Dan. The short bus arrived at the airport on time this morning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. You ready to do a flight from Myrtle Beach to Atlanta in the Tolis 319? Nice, Sander. That's a sweet flight, man. What ortho for Alaska? I, honestly, it's not very good. I think it's just Bing. Yeah. Gonna replay the donuts for Dan Barry. Jeez, he could just rind it back. <coughs> Does your dark mode ICSC for the Tolls 320 family work for the 340? I don't think so, Tom. No. And I don't even think those work anymore. Active Sky or Global Weather, uh, Active Sky. Sometimes I wish we were back in the dial-up days, back when it was harder to get on the internet, and it cost you money. Don't forget the jazz cabbage. Oh, man, the jazz cabbage. Mmm, love it. C28, thank you very much for support as well, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, dude. <laughs> thank you, man. Oh, boy. Five years ago, I saw my first Captain Canada stream with 12 viewers. Seemed like that was yesterday. It's so crazy, monkey. 12 viewers. Five years ago, man. It's absolutely bananas. Should be using USA 2 for ortho source and ortho for XP, the most current scenery down there. Yeah, I probably should redo this, Schmitty. Is it still like as bad as like what we're seeing here where half of the ortho is just covered in white snow and you can't see anything? But yeah. Mav, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. No, of course not, wow, kid. You're fine, Active Sky, to be worth uh, as opposed to default XP weather, at least in terms of accuracy. I feel like it's much more accurate, Kyle. Um, one thing that I do love about Active Sky is the accuracy of it. It is very, very accurate. Um, if the, you know, the Metar report tells you that's what it is at the airport, 99% of the time, that's the exact weather that you're going to see at the airport. There are a few exceptions. There is that 1% where kind of, you're just like, what the hell is this? But yeah. What's a milk run? Um, it's just a name for a service that Alaska calls these these hops in, in Alaska. So from Anchorage to Juneau, Juneau to Ketchikan, and then it continues on. Keep getting burned by XP, a default weather, good to know that? Yeah, no, it's much better, yeah. You like USA 2? Uh, please refer to Discord explain screenshots I posted last night. It's better than this old Bing you have. No offense, of course. No, I know what you mean, of course. The Gamers Toys, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Hundred and thirty miles till descent. So if I had a Bali, Indonesia, that'd be fun offer. Please throw that in the Discord though, man. We only take flight suggestions in the Discord, but I, I would love to fly in Indonesia. Yeah, my cousin wedding is in six hours. Where'd the time go? Damn. Crazy. American. Round three. Let's get it done. This is for you, Daniel Rimahorn, Berry the third. Smitty got caught smoking some of that sticky icky icky, some of that jazz cabbage, a hit off that alligator cigarette, hitting that AstroTurf, that alfalfa, the Houdini. 
dude. Schmitty got caught, Dan, smoking in the lavatory. It was somebody walked in and Schmitty was attacking the uh, the smoke detector in the lavatory. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh man. Cameron, Cameron, thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, man. Five to seven minute timer is up. Of course it is. Of course it is. Is an IP ban possible? No, that would have to be on like Google's end. Is kids persistent? Yeah, we just have to stop giving it any attention and that that'll be it the ortho is nice yeah it's surprisingly nice we've got a little patch of nice you can see already up here though it's already changing colors up here there's like three different little colors for what it is beautiful sunrise in the long haul uh from sydney nice are we on real time i think we're an hour ahead of real time so I did 16 bucks, like to see my name on the donator list and the stream overlay. You are correct. You, you should be. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. I was like, uh, you're up to 16 smackaroons. Crazy, man. Huskers, <clears throat> thank you for the support, my friend. I appreciate you, dude. 12 months, a full year, my friend. Thank you very, very much, Huskers. Huge, huge, huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you, man. That's very, very kind. A full year of being a member. Where has the time gone, sir? Where has it gone? Thanks for the support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties. Very, very kind, man. Thank you, dude. Thirty nautical miles for top of descent. I've got ninety five. Abdul, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. <laughs> Schmitty demands a flyby. We've already done a couple. Sammy's, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, dude. How are you? K, 
Captain, you trust that I is working on a 380 for X-Plane, or is that also fake news? No, they are. They are. I'd like to go to Alaska eventually. Uh, I've been to Hawaii twice. Every state on the West Coast in BC, but never uh, flown that far northwest. I would love to as well, man. I'd love to fly just into Juneau to, like, take it all in. And The thing is, with flying up to Alaska, is it's, it's insanely expensive, right? Everything in Alaska is, like, stupidly expensive. 2,700 nautical miles till top of descent. Oh, baby. Ionai is one of the devs we can actually trust. Yes, 100%. When Ionai says that they are going to deliver, Ionai delivers. Absolutely. I and I is not working on an A220. No, I haven't heard any of that. The approach into Kodiak is no joke. Offset ILS uh, right into the mountains. Yeah, that's crazy. Say no Q400. I uh, hope you're doing well, Cap Saturn. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. No, we uh, we took a little bit of a break from the Q400. We'll be back. We'll be back. Of course. But yeah. Yeah, do you recommend the Jar Design 330? Wanted to find a bigger Airbus than the Tolis to try flying an X-Plane 11. Well, Tolis has the 340, so you could really go big. You could fly the 340. Um, honestly, if you're going to get the 3... If you're going to get the 330, I would say the only time you should really get it is on sale. It's not a very good aircraft, but... The Q400 in Alaska one time, maybe. We'll see. They don't really fly a lot of Q400s up here, though. I think the, the mountain ranges are too tall. Cap, you feel the plants off that Q400? Really nice streams. Thanks, T-Bomb. Appreciate you, man. We did. Yeah. We did. We did. Q400 in Norway? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Or maybe wait for the X-Plane 12 default 330. No, don't wait for that. <laughs> don't wait for that. Just hit the three hour mark halfway there. Nice. I'll take a look at the 340. Thanks, Cap. No worries, mate. Yeah. Is Active Sky for XP version 7933 better than the previous? Uh, what am I on? I am on 7933, which is a beta. Seems to be working well. I'm not sure after. I'm here to turn off your lights. Fell hardcore for the A32NX. Great, great airplane, man. Kept us reached 64,000 subscribers. We did, yes. Thank you. 64,000. Pretty crazy, man. Dan. Why no Fairbanks? Didn't have really good scenery, to be honest with you. I haven't found any good scenery for Fairbanks. Reagans, thanks so much for your support. Coming up into uh, upgrading the membership to first class. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel, Reagan. Appreciate you. Thank you. Going from business class to first class. Oh, baby. Splurging. Alaska called and they offered a, you know, pretty, pretty amazing price for the upgrade. 50 miles till descent, friends. Dippy, what's up, man? Good to see you. How are you? An important question, is your trucking company still in business? I have no clue, man. It's been a while. If 
bought a Windows computer for Microsoft 2020. I know it requires at least eight gigs of RAM. Uh, what would you say is the best amount? Minimum 16. If you want to future-proof the computer a little bit, I would say go with 32 gigs. Um, 16 gigs minimum, 32 gigs uh, recommended is what I would say. Um, Afner, thank you very much for support as well, man. Coming up in a business class. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for your support, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Needed to upgrade. Back was starting to hurt. Hey, those beautiful, beautiful seats up in first class. Yeah. Watching this, so I got something to do. Beginning descent in SFO in 20 minutes. Perfect timing for this flight. Nice. Sweet, dude. We're going to start our descent here in about uh, five minutes or so. We're going to start our descent. What are we stretching with? Uh, we just stretched with um, stone fruit sunsets. Not time for sunsets, but... Yeah, 16 min, 32 is what I would recommend. RAM's pretty cheap right now. Honestly, if 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 I'm being 100% honest with you, David, RAM is, is fairly cheap right now. Um, I would say 32 gigs because if you're spending an extra 100 bucks for an extra 16 gigs, which is probably what it's going to average out to be, that is well more worth it. Um, because trust me, down the line, probably in, in two, three, four, maybe five years, you know, 32 is going to be that recommended or what, what people say you should need. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you're building a PC, you want to do your best to future proof the PC. And by future proof, what I mean is if, if you can, if you can afford a, um, if you can afford it at the time while you're building the PC, it's better to, 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 add some extra components or spend a little bit more money if you've got it like i said at the time than it is to to go back and and have to you know add things onto the pc in due time What's our ground speed? Yeah, 417 knots. We got a nice, nice headwind right now. 31 knot headwind. Okay, um, there's descent. Uh, we're gonna take it down to 3400 initially. So we'll reset that. 3400. You see here, we're 24 miles from descent. My 1080 Ti from four years ago is still a beast. Definitely recommend future proof. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Windows says, uh, <clears throat> my Windows 10 says it's ready for Windows 11. I wouldn't do it yet. I'm not, I'm not upgrading yet. Yeah, someone mentioned that it was getting, I mean, it's been planned, Press supplier at the the A32NX VNAV has been planned for a while. They've, they've, they've planned on doing that. Four months. Greg, it's hot. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate you. Four months. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very much. Does YouTube take a cut out of uh, channel memberships like they do super chats? Yes, they do. YouTube takes a cut out of everything. Everything. Hopefully we don't have a traffic jam and a cluster. I'm actually gonna take a look here right now. How's everybody doing? Okay, pretty good.
YouTube must make absolute cheddar. Oh man. Usually fly nothing uh, but Boeing, but the A32NX is the first Airbus. I've uh, really sat down and tried to learn, uh, so I don't know much about VNAV. Um, well, VNAV is actually a, a Boeing thing. VNAV is vertical navigation. So basically what's going on is we've given the FMC, if you go to the legs page on the FMC, you can see that we've got a restriction here for 3,400 feet at Ojimi. So basically what we've done is we've basically told the airplane that at Ojimi we need to be at 3,400 feet. And what the airplane has done is the airplane has said, okay, well, to make a comfortable descent to be at 3,400 feet for Ojimi, we're going to start our descent here, wherever we are, about 70, 80 miles out. Um, so that's essentially what it's doing. Now, that's VNAV. Airbus has something very similar, um, but instead of it being a button, you actually like push and pull. So you have your push and pull when it comes to an Airbus. So you have managed mode and open mode. So you'd want it into managed mode, which essentially would do that. Dan, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to read your messages, man, but they're just, I don't even, I don't even know where to begin with some of them, Dan. Are you using like text-to-speech or something? I know that a lot of people use text to speech and sometimes it gets them really but iodine 380 serious premiere super time i don't even know what that means i'm sorry i'm trying to read it but i just have no clue do you have an approach plate for juno we do yes um the approach plate is right here so it's an rnav approach so we're coming in this way. We're gonna come out to the Elephant VOR. From the Elephant VOR, we're gonna make a left turn. Um, we're gonna to be to Nimli, and then from Nimli to Ojimi. Right turn from Ojimi to Mene, Mene to Molri, and then I believe it's at Molri. If you don't have the field in sight, you have to essentially make a left turn back out to Mugs and then a hold that chill. That's where the holding pattern is at chill. So seven mile holding pattern. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. What's up, Cap? How are you today, vlogs? What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Can't wait for a 737 to drop Microsoft 2020. Yeah, we're wait I'm very patiently waiting for the PMDG, man. I really, really hope. Listen, it's PMDG. They've got, they've, I know a lot of people are, a lot of people are like, oh, it's PMDG. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be this. And I'm sitting there going like, man, it's, it's PMDG. Like these guys have an actual, you know, they have a name behind, you know, their, they're an actual company and, and they actually are a company that produces quality. So I don't think that they're just going to put out a, a half-ass project in Microsoft Flight Sim. I really hope it's going to be a, an amazing airplane. Who said it's not going to be good? Oh, there's a bunch of people, man. A bunch of people are saying that it's not going to be good. It's just going to be a watered down version of what they offer in P3D and really bad where we're landing you're at a thousand feet and you're still in the clouds the weather let me take a look the weather seems to be good rich what's up man good to see you dude how are you thanks for stopping by the weather for juno is winds are 120 16 knots few at 1200 broken at 3000 broken at 10,000 so technically we should be able to see by 1200 feet. We should see it. PMDG products are really good, but some people uh, think a lot of them, in my honest opinion, told us is what everyone thinks PMDG is. Okay. I Like I said, I've never owned a PMDG product. I just know from the people that I do watch and the people that I've, that I've, I've 
I've spent a lot of time like you know in this hobby watching and getting to know they all speak very highly of it um, and obviously it doesn't you know every streamer and every content creator they're either flying you know if you're flying p3d a lot of people it's either pmdg fs labs or quality wings like those are the three major airplanes that you see people flying pmdg triple seven seven four seven three everybody owns and flies those airplanes if you have p3d um so yeah they're dc60 i mean i truly feel like here's the thing I've seen the videos, Equus, obviously I've seen everything and like, I, I'm like, it, it's a beautiful airplane. It's a beautiful airplane. I just feel like that type of flying is a very, um, like it's a very like methodical and, and it's a certain like type of pilot that has to fly that airplane. Right. And unfortunately I've, I've tried, I've tried to like get myself excited, stoked for it. That's just not like the, that's not the pilot that I am. You know what I mean? I'm just really not a, I'm not meant to fly that aircraft. Now, that doesn't mean that we're never going to fly it. There may come a time where I'm going to say, oh man, you know what? Like, I really want, I, I want it. I want this, you know? So, um, interesting here for our minimums. So we've got to have the airport in sight by at least 1880 uh, or 1855. So we're going to plug that in now. We're going to go 1880. Will this even go this high? No, it won't go that high. Are there minimums on an RNAV approach? There should be. Those are interesting minimums. Uh, curiosity question, are you an IRL pilot? No, I don't hold any IRL license. No. Yeah, absolutely, man. Fly the JAR 340? No. AGL? Uh, change it to barrel minimums, but I mean, it was still 1880 or 1855. There's no, uh, or will it work if we switch it to barrel? Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, chat. All right, 1885, good, cool. Love watching the stream, thanks a lot, appreciate that, man. Glad you're enjoying it. All right, here's to a beautiful landing. You guys, no, never mind, I'm not gonna speak about it. PMDG is really good standard for FSX and P3D, but a lot of people devote themselves to PMDG like it's a religion. Um, yeah, I've seen that one as well. I've seen there's, there's, there's quite a bit of love. For the PMDG and, and the people that do like it seem to be, you know, pretty diehard about the airplanes. But I mean, they're they, again, they look, they look pretty complete. They look like they're pretty good airplanes. Um, altimeter is two nine five nine two nine five nine. We'll set that now. Good. Cool. I have no words, radio versus barrel, right? I didn't even think about that. I was like, uh, I've been flying too, too much Airbus lately. Way too much Airbus and Q400. Any inner and outer markers going off? Oh, you're talking to John, okay. So glad Enhanced Skyscapes did what X and Viro promised, but never did. <laughs> For $15, too. That's that's the best part, American. You, you just, you can't, $15. That's the even better part, right there. Fifteen dollars. X Enviro over here at seventy nine ninety nine. Still, there's been absolutely no price cut. X Enviro's been out for what three and a half, four years now. It's been in in an alpha and and a, basically a non playable state for the last two and a half years. But hey, eighty dollars, <laughs> eighty dollars, man. I'm at Menay landing very soon. Nice dude. Enjoy, enjoy trying to say is Amazon is going to fly the 380s now so when uh, the I and I comes out with the A380 we could have some fun with that interesting I don't know if I you really think Amazon's gonna fly the 380 man I just don't see it being economical maybe I don't know I don't know dude imagine maybe I don't know 
Imagine opening that thing up though, that'd be pretty pretty wild. Alright, I'm picking up no weather. Somebody was asking for train radar. So let's get train radar on you and we'll get weather radar on you. Alright, weather radar's on that one, train radar's on ours. They dropped it to 69.90. Oh boy. Yo, well that's American, that's why. So no, Yeti, that's always the same price, isn't it? It's probably just 79 or 80 CAD. <coughs> Amazon flies all Boeing planes. Merca. Maybe. If there's a cargo variant, absolutely they could use it transporting way more packages at once. No, that's what I was thinking in my head. I was just trying to think like how much it would be to convert one of those. And if are there any that have converted already? Right? Like that that was my thought process there. Just one question, why don't you play P3D? It's a very realistic game. Uh I just didn't, I don't know, man, I, I was always so involved with X-Plane, and I just didn't, when I, the, by the time I decided to get involved in P3D and wanted to get involved with P3D, it was too expensive. It would have cost me thousands of dollars for the add-ons and the, the stuff that I would have needed to start putting out content and stuff like that. So. Prime is waiting for the 330 Neo cargos. I don't think they're using the 380s. Yeah, I was good. I don't know, man. Yeah, Cat, it's 87. Oof. Amazon uses 7.6s and 7.3s, yeah. They do now. What I was talking about is they're going to expand that they bought at least, I think, 30 380s. 30 or 40 380s. I don't know, Dan. I haven't heard anything about that. I don't follow real-world aviation, but I, I haven't heard about, about Amazon buying 30 or 40 380s or anything like that. I haven't heard any of that, man. Yeah, here. Thank you so much, dude. Dropping the $2 donation. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the channel. Very kind of you, sir. Thanks for your support, man. So what is up, Captain? It's good stream, good work. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the stream. I see two air I see two airplanes that are flying away from where we're going. Hope we're not gonna have just a big old cluster, you know what, coming into here. A two cargo deck? Yeah, we do. I have no clue, man. No clue. Amazon gonna have 380s? Well, that's what somebody said, but I don't know. Thank you, Yehi. I appreciate you, man. Is Enhanced uh, Cloudscapes heavy on frames? It really depends on your PC, Vishef. Really depends on your PC, man. If you run in Vulkan, it's not bad. If you run your P if you run your X-Plane in OpenGL, it definitely will... You'll definitely lose performance, so... <laughs> Hey Cap, I was, <laughs> yeah, I, I was wondering if you're using no, texture mod for the Zebo. No, I am not. Uh oh, did somebody crash? Apparently, somebody crashed. Who is that? Uh, yeah, that was that. Uh, what was that Airbus that was holding at the runway for everybody? Somebody definitely crashed. A bumpy arrival. How much did you pay to make X-Plane look the way that you did? Enhanced skyscapes. That's literally it, man. Ortho and ortho. So ortho... Really, the only thing you need for ortho is time and a good hard drive. Time and a good storage hard drive. So I have an eight terabyte hard drive that I store all my ortho on. And then X-Plane just has its own one terabyte hard drive. Um, yeah, Active Sky for the real weather, but that doesn't do any of the textures or anything like that. And Enhanced Skyscapes, which is 15 bucks. Yeah, yeah, up in the first class. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate you, dude. Becoming a first, we have had two members come from business class to first class. Thank you guys, I appreciate you. Uh, I gotta get some lights on here. We're through 10,000. We'll get our anti, uh, sorry, our engine start switches to continuous landing lights on. 
get our logo light on. We'll get our wing light on here as well. Um, we're well into the approach. We're 7,800 feet in descending. Thanks so much, Ehi. I appreciate you, man. Remember when Atlas Air and Amazon plane smashed into Lake uh, Houston and killed three on board, instantly FO engaged Toga by accident and nosedove the plane? Well, that was... When was that? That was a couple years ago, wasn't it? I think I do remember that. I think I do. I think we were streaming while all that was going on. See, and then like the ortho, you'll see there's... The ortho is a little bit suspicious out here. A little bit suspicious. How do you set up ortho? Uh, without going into crazy amount of detail, the best way, man, if you're unfamiliar with ortho, would be to go over to... Um, ortho for xp uh google some tutorials on youtube there's tons and tons and tons of tutorials ortho is one of those things that i can't really explain how to do it you have to watch a video and kind of follow along the video and use the video as a guide um yeah Make it a smooth landing. I'll do my best. I'm still getting used to the thing that I'm not supposed to be talking about. Just keep that in mind. I'm using something new that I'm not allowed to talk about. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> Just clearing my throat there a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. Just clearing my throat. Too bad Active Sky does not support uh, all X Plane platforms. Yeah. Uh, QA Pilot had done a tutorial on Ortho for XP recently. There you go. Jose, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. No yoke cam till Tuesday. Drink some water. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Do you think using standard hard drive for ortho and an SSD for X-Plane causes any performance issues and loss? I'm not sure. I don't run my X-Plane on an SSD. I run my X-Plane on a regular hard drive and my Ortho on a pretty much a regular hard drive as well. So um, I don't think you should have any issues. You should be fine. NDA, that's right. Have you played Infinite Fly? I have not. No. How would you recommend the Flight Factor 7.6? Great airplane. Yeah. Did it start with thrust? What do you mean? Uh, what? No. What? Mm -hmm. Ah. Sorry. Sorry. I landed while I was landing. I saw a plane on the ground in the middle of the forest. Yeah, I see him on... Uh, yeah, I see him. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need to continue down here. We can take this down to about 1,800 feet before we... Uh, before we have to see a visual here. I have anything to do, uh, think to do live on Twitch. I prefer doing YouTube, man, to be honest with you. YouTube's kind of my home. Alright, altimeter's set. We're looking good. We're an hour and 20 minutes into the flight. We're scheduled for an hour and 26. We may be a little bit early here. Maybe a minute or two early. We're going to get a yoke view on landing. No yoke views. We're not using my camera. I obviously am not allowed to talk about what I am using uh, until Tuesday. Tuesday, guys, is the big stream that we're going to be able to talk about what I'm using and showcasing. And Yeah. Um, maybe he was planning on going away from the airport. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Flaps five degrees. I'm gonna keep my speed at 190. Continue descending. We have one airplane coming in from this way. I just saw him on the radar. Alright, let's start getting configured here, friends. Drop our gear. 
start bringing that speed back. Let's go flaps 15 degrees. Geo Traffic Alaska 70 is on a 10 mile final R nav from the zero weight. Alright, flaps are 15 degrees. We're looking for 153 on the approach speed today. 153. Let's go flaps 25. Gonna keep our speed up here. Um, for the people behind us. Here comes the rain, here comes the wind. Fresh here. 2,500 feet. This is always a crazy approach in the Juno. Alright, guys, I'm about to take control of the airplane. Enjoy the arrival. Get you guys down on the ground again. No camera on today. Approaching Just enjoy the arrival, months. guys. My airplane. Minimums. Thank you. Got it in sight. We're looking good. Let's get final approach speed in now. 153. And we will go flaps 30. Feet stabilized, Mr. Perch, altitude set. Remember, this is a uh, off centered approach. So we're going to be making a turn right towards the very end. Right landing checklist, gears down, three green, flaps are full, spoilers are armed, auto brake is set, cabin crew's advised. You guys have been advised, let's do this, friends. Your speed there got a little bit away from us. 500. 400. gentlemen welcome down into Juneau Alaska vacate here to the left call let them know we are vacated and Juneau traffic Alaska 70 is vacated everyone raise your weight to Juneau traffic all right bring you guys back up into the flight deck there we go friends vacating to the left we'll go ahead and stop our clock one hour and 26 minutes oh baby that felt good, nice and smooth. 
a little bit heavy of a flare initially, but uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. We'll clean up our flaps, clean up our spoilers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get our landing lights off, get our strobe lights off, wing lights off, go ahead and spool up the APU, one, two, and three, and talk about a uh, perfect flight, an hour and 26 minutes. We are right on track, right on schedule. Um, now, if we're all going to be doing this flight into Ketchikan, it may be a little bit sketchy, and there's probably going to be airplanes on top of one another. So if you are planning to do the flight, please don't just, like, hang out at the airport. Let's try and uh, get everybody off the ground and stuff. Instead of just sitting at the airport, occupying a stand, because there's only, like, four or five stands here in Juneau. Great landing man smiles. Easy. Thanks for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Huge snow floaties to you. Thank you, thank you. And Brandon Lewis, four months as a member. Thanks for your support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Not sure if you have said uh, why, but why is there no yoke cam? Well, I'm going to let you guys, like I, I've mentioned a couple times now, we're doing a special promotion on Tuesday, right? We've already spoken about that. We know what we're getting on Tuesday. So maybe I'm using something that I'm not supposed to be talking about or showcasing. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And we'll learn more about it on Tuesday. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. APU's on and available. APU gen's on, APU bleed on, engine bleeds are off. Uh, looks like all of those stands are already taken. We could take one of the, uh, we'll take one of these ones over here. Yeah, we'll try and take one of those ones. All right, runway turnoffs can come off. I think we all know what it is. I mean, you should at this point. I've pretty much spelled it out for you. Nice flight and landing. Thank you. It was a fun flight. Uh, is this a stand right there? That's not a stand. Okay. Um, I think all the stands are already taken, to be honest with you. Taxi lights off. I think they're already all taken. So, we're going to disconnect from VATSIM. We're going to take one of these ones here. Remember, guys, if you are flying the next leg, that's perfectly fine, but uh, try and get yourself pushed back and ready to rock and roll here as quick as we can. Just so that there literally isn't enough stands here to support how many airplanes we have. Self parked at the gate. And there we go. Park brakes on, APU gens on, bleeds are on, everything's looking good. Engine number two. Engine number one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome good down. Good job, Cap, you absolute legend. Staggy, thanks so much for your support, my friend. I appreciate you. Drop in the $5 dono. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you. And there we have it. Seatbelt signs off. Anti-collision light off. Engine start switches are off. And there we go. Beautiful flight, my friends. Down into Juno. Some crazy weather. That's normal. Gonna love that one. I think we're gonna fly the old livery next. Do you guys like the old livery with the little lay at the back here, I think it's called? I'm gonna fly that one next, I think. Um, all right, cool. Let's take a look at our uh, replay. Bring this guy back here. We'll take a look at that. Uh, don't have to go that far back. That should be probably good right there. Shift three. 
and probably right about there should be good we're a little bit high we're too white too red coming in the whole time but we felt a little bit high i did this i did this fight last night with schmitty and i was much lower in on the approach and i didn't float it as much i mean we still kept it at eight seconds float so it's still not bad you know we could could have done much worse but um nice little turn in here too i mean dead center following the approach lights god i love this approach Nice little subtle turn coming in. Nice and smooth, just felt it the whole way in. Wait. Is the runway like messed up right there? Is that what that was when we hit down? It is, what is that? What the fuck is that in the runway? That's why we got, okay, that's why we hit the runway, like, at a weird, I thought I noticed that, too. I thought we, it, it looked to me that, like, we landed, and then, like, the nose kind of did, like, a weird thing. That's exactly what it is. The runway's just got this huge, like, divot right there. I'm not sure what's causing that. You can see it from here. It's really bad, actually. Damn. Okay. I'll have to turn off, uh. It's the runway follows contours. So hold on, before I forget. Uh, yeah, you didn't see any of that. Nothing to see here. Um, runway follows train. I'm going to turn that off for now. Remind me that I have to turn it back on for Ketchikan. Can you guys re remind me of that? I need to turn it back on for Ketchikan. Um, all right, and we'll watch a tower view coming in here. It's so crazy how, like, the airplane is basically pointing dead at the camera. Um like on the arrival, then it just starts making this left turn. It's crazy, man. Looks like we bounced. I don't think we bounced. I don't know. We might have. We'll see here. I don't think we bounced. I think we just come right up top of the struts. Little bit floaty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we definitely did. We, we, we like, touched down right at that point. Damn. That's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't uh, I didn't notice that in the scenery yesterday. Now we know. There's the glacier right over there. You can see the glacier here. Big glacier. Still butter though it was, yeah. Still better, but we literally put it right on that divot. <laughs> that's why the arrive. That's why the it looked a little bit weird. That's why it sounded like that. <laughs> it literally sounded like we took a divot out of the. Damn, wicked approach though, man. So much fun to do. Wing flex, oh man, the Zebo is Zebo is king when it comes to the wing flex. Beautiful. Alright guys, you're gonna watch it from here. Apparently that view doesn't work, so I'm just gonna do that. Alright, watch it from here, and I will see you guys all in about five or ten minutes for our second leg in the catch again.
2,000 feet, stabilize this to bridge out the so.
Oh, baby. Welcome back inside the sim, friends. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for hanging out during that break. Hopefully it didn't take too long. The sim sometimes takes so long to, like, restart. I'm not quite sure why different times it takes longer times to start. And I don't know. Anyways, welcome back, friends. Hope you were doing well. Second leg today, Juno into Ketchikan. A beautiful, beautiful flight. Very much looking forward to this one. We are rocking the old school... Alaska livery. This is the the old school livery. I'm not logged in on Vatsim right now just because uh, um, I don't want to step on anybody. I, I don't know what everybody is, where everybody is and what they're doing. So, uh, yes, welcome back into Juno. Again, this is freeware scenery done by Mr. X. If you're interested in this scenery, uh, the link is down below. You can put exclamation point scenery, exclamation point scenery too. It's free, so there's no there's no reason why you shouldn't own it. It's always amazing and fun to fly up to Alaska. And there's a lot of real world flights that go from Seattle up here to Juneau, uh, which we're going to be doing tomorrow. We're going to be actually doing Juneau back to Seattle uh, tomorrow afternoon. So I'm very excited for that one. So friends, without further ado, we'll jump back inside the cockpit. We'll get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. The only thing that I did is I turned on the APU. Uh, that's the only thing I did. We're off ground power. We're on APU power. So first things first, we're going to come back down here. We're going to go and start our flight leg. We're going to go to our weight, fuel, and balance. We'll turn him up. Get all the sounds up for you guys here as well. There we go. Beautiful. Um, all right, let's go to our payload. Fuel for today's flight. We need, according to Simbrief, um, 5.6 on the fuel. 48-minute uh, flight today. So shorter than, about half hour shorter than the Anchorage to Juno flight. Um, zero fuel. We're looking for 59.3. 59.3, which is going to give me a payload of... Try this one, 16.1, 59.3, no, 5.6, 16.1, put it in the wrong spot, there we go, cool, we'll take a look at that, um, and we'll see what that zero fuel weight gives us, let's go to the overhead, let's start working on some things, we'll get their panel brightness up, trim air can go on, research fans are in the auto position, packs in the off position, ISO valve is open, APU bleed is on, uh, cruise altitude today is going to be 31,000 feet. So we'll get that plugged in here. We'll get our logo lights on. Everything else looks good up here. No smoking to auto. We'll get our seatbelt sign on. Uh, everything else looks good up there. We're already on APU power, so that's all good. Beautiful. Everything looks good up there. I'm happy with that. Let's come over here. 59.2. Hey. Look at that. We're getting good. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get some brightness up on the panels. Good. And you all the way up. Beautiful. All right, cool. Let's go to, um, let's go to the, um, FMC and we're going to go to the route page. We are sitting on the ground in Juno, which is pageant. We are going over to Ketchikan, which is packed. Our flight number today is Alaska 66, I believe is what we are. Alaska 66. This is a real world flight. I'm going to throw that in there. Beautiful. Let's go to our init ref page. We'll punch in the zero fuel weight, 59.2, good. Let's go to our departure page. We are planning the Juno 6 departure out of runway 08 with the leveled uh, transition. I think that's what it is. We'll go route, activate, and execute, good. Go to our route page, second page from LVD. We're gonna go direct doozy, having a doozy today. Beautiful, from doozy, we're gonna jump on our arrival. There is no star. Um, I believe we're going to plan for the ILS Yankee runway 1-1. One, one. Um, I have our charts open, so we can all take a look here. Where are you, charts? You are right here. We'll go to Pact. Open you up. Approach. I believe we want the ILS uh, X-ray or... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. X-ray or Yankee. We'll take Yankees. It's the top one. ILS Yankee. We're going to take it from Doozy. And we'll execute that. Let's go to our legs page. We'll make sure that we have no crazy discontinuities and everything looks good there, which it does. Beautiful. I'm happy with all that. We've got a crazy right turn out of here. Um, it's going to be a pretty fun departure. Um, okay, cool. Let's go to our NITREF page. Let's plug in our uh, performance numbers now. Uh, plan fuel for today. We're going to burn 3.2, which is going to give us a reserve of... Wait, what? 3.2, thank you. Uh, which is going to give us a reserve of 2-3. Uh, cost index is 35. Cruise level is 3-1-0. Winds at cruise altitude will be 135 at 30 knots. Good. 
Uh, I said deviation this morning or afternoon here in Alaska. I believe it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, minus 12. A lot colder down here than it was up in Anchorage. We'll execute that. That's good. We're not using reserve fuel. That's fine. Go to our N1 limits. Not doing a D rate today. We need we need as much climb power out of here as possible. So 97.6 on the N1s. That's all set. Let's go to our takeoff page. Flaps are going to be set 5 degrees. Our CG weight today, 19.5 which is going to give us a trim value of 5.5 and our v-speeds 32 34 44 beautiful that's all set i'm happy with all of that wonderful let's go ahead and upstairs everything looks good on you that's all set we're pretty much good to go here friends so let's go to plugins we'll go to better pushback we'll go Route start pushback hit. please show me where you want to go <clears throat> planning for runway eight for departure so we'll go ahead and turn ourselves back like this that should be good there. Again, we'll we'll connect on Vatsim after we've pushed ourselves Toe back up. Uh, from the terminal just to avoid any type of uh, any type of issues. We're going to thirty one thousand feet on the flight. Good. Uh, v speeds. We just uh, plug those in. So one forty four. We'll get our flight directors. Good. Um, overhead, we'll get our anti collision light on as we're about to move the airplane. Seatbelt signs on. The rest of all of that looks good. Cool. Sweet. Um, let's update Morning, our weather here Plane as well. Verify arm door, standby for all call. Altimeter 2963. Right, 6-3, beautiful. Got that plugged. Cool. They're seating everybody down in the back. Oh, baby. It is time, my okay. friends. All it doors is time. And hatches are oh, Cap, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Joe. How are you, man? Good to see you. Cap, weird hump in your scenery does not occur when you download the scenery. I also put the airport environment on and still no runway bugs. It's the ortho. It's 100% the ortho. The ortho causes those types of stuff in the runways. Now what we can do is we can actually turn it back on. So I turned it off. So we can turn it back on. Because it won't actually turn itself on. But when it loads Ketchikan, we do need it for Ketchikan. Already took off, so you had space. Sweet. Thanks, man. Uh, did you change your runway contours? Yes, I have them off, so we're so fine now. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Park brake is released. Starting tow, and you may start engines. Beautiful. Looks like you had trouble there for a second. All right, cool. Engine mode selector to the ground position for number two and we're looking for 25 percent n2 before we introduce fuel how do you know when to lower the flaps is it planned uh based on your speeds going low no you didn't schmitty uh based on the speeds going lower everyone but e-dog in the restroom puff puff oh schmitty is joining you for the puff puffs today apparently 25 percent will introduce fuel number two look at that scene right there my goodness this will be nice Remember, guys, if you haven't done so, please don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. I have no clue how many likes we're at today. And Hope we're at a, a nice to number. To if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button for me. All right, let's fire up engine number one to ground. So it looks amazing up here in Microsoft 2020. Yeah, absolutely. What throttle do I use for the Zebo? Uh, normally I use my Honeycomb uh, Bravo throttle, but currently right now using something different. Love the strong right turn. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's uh, it's pretty wild actually. All right, we'll introduce fuel number one. First, please fasten your seatbelts. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal fitting into the buckle and pull on the loose end of the strap to tighten. You had your first crash in a long time, like your sim crashed or you crashed? Are you connected on VATSIM? Not yet, Evan. No, I wanted to push, like I said, I was just getting away from the gate. Just in case I don't want to spawn on anybody else. I don't want anybody else to spawn on one another. All 
All right, let's set flaps five degrees. You crashed. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do you push them back in less than 10 minutes? What a flow. Pretty amazing, actually, how fast you get the planes ready to rock and roll, as you would say. Well, listen, it's just, like, I just have this, like, strong, like, when I used to watch people live stream, I didn't, like, I, I wasn't a fan of watching somebody, like, spend half an hour or 45 minutes, like, you know, like, double, triple, quadruple checking things, making sure they had done. So I'm very much, like, to the point and ready to rock and roll. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't like making people wait. Like, we're here to watch me fly. We're not here to watch me, you know, play with the overhead panel and figure out what switches do what. And You know what I mean? That's not what we're here, right? That's just, like, my thought process behind it. Um, all right. Pack system and bleeds on. APU bleed is off. Engine bleeds are on. 31,000 is set in the pressurized panel. Good pressurization panel. Probe heats are coming on. Everything is looking good. Engine start switches to continuous. That is all good. We'll get our taxi light on. Flaps were set to five degrees, which have been indicated. Trim value is 5.5. We'll set that right about there. All righty, friends, let's do it. Park brake off. And let's go ahead and taxi ourselves over to runway um, 08 for departure. Really foggy in the pit. Got to close that window, eh? Oh, yes. Robbie, what's up, man? Already pushing back less than 10 minutes. Oh, sorry, got that one. Were you flying with us? You saw someone down. Oh, no, Mad w Maverick wasn't flying with us. No, that wasn't Mav. All right. Holy shit. Every everybody's taxiing out now. Remember, guys, when you land in Ketchikan, it's got to be the same deal here, all right? It's such a small airport. I don't want to have to log off, but if there's, you know, going to be people over the taxiways, and once you land in Ketchikan, if you can do your best, you know, do your shutdown procedures, do whatever you got to do, but just keep in mind that there's a lot of aircraft flying in right now, and there's like four or five stands for these aircraft, so there's not a lot. Let's get our auto throttle. Actually, I'm not going to do auto throttle. I am going to do LNAV VNAV. I'm not using auto throttle on departure. It's tried to kill me, and we cannot do it on this departure. We really need to get full power up in here. We are VIP? No. We're not VIP. We're like everybody else. Did somebody crash before you landed? Yeah, somebody, uh, that, that first, that Air Arabia, was it the Air Arabia A320? That's the second or third time he's he's gone to fly with us and he's crashed on approach. I'm, I'm just guessing by the amount of flight time hours he has on VATSIM, 13 hours. Uh, I believe he's very much new to like the whole flight simulation thing. Um, I'm not quite sure he even, yeah. Very new to the whole, the whole uh, flight sim scene type thing. What rain effects do I use? These are just the default uh, Zebo rain effects. I like that, look at that, A Boeing but a Boeing, but the Alaska livery, that's kind of cool. I think that's the first time I've seen that one. We got a biz jet in front of us too. Like, who's this? Citation Max? Max, where are you? What is Air Arabia? No, he's he's not putting the right call sign in. He's calling himself Alaska, but he's not putting the I, so when he's connecting to VATSIM, like I said, when you connect to VATSIM, you have to put your ICAO code in order for other aircrafts and, and, and people to be able to see who you are and what livery you are. And he wasn't using the right the right iCows. He wasn't using like ASA for Alaska and stuff. Ooh, same livery. Beautiful. Love it. For those of you that don't know, that's the livery we're rocking today. I love this livery, man. You can always go around. How do you know how many degree to choose for takeoff? <clears throat> like, a, like a D rated takeoff or something like that. Ooh, look at him. He's just out here making his turn. It's a crazy big right turn off departure. Casper, um, you also fly the Zebo tomorrow, Alaska? Yes. Yeah, Zebo mod tomorrow as well. He's gone. 
FPS, bottom right corner here, we're getting 67, 66. Bottom right corner for the FPS. I really dig that livery, I'm gonna have to try and find that. That's like an OG Boeing paint with the Alaska tail. That's dope. It says Alaska on the back of it. I like that. Use Ajin Airlines tomorrow? You want me to you want me to fly Ajain from Ketchikan, Alaska? I can I can smell the realism the realism uh, detector is off the charts with that one. Ajin Airlines flying out of Ketchikan, Alaska. Boy oh boy, I would never hear the end of that if I did that, man. You have to understand. <laughs> the aviation community does not usually for the most part play games when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> so you have to be very careful with what you fly. I can't tell you how many times I've put up a thumbnail and five minutes after putting up the thumbnail, people are like, what, you're flying this? You can't fly that. No, you're not allowed. They don't fly this airplane. They retired that airplane. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. It's a Greek airline? Yes, I'm very familiar with the Greek airlines, yeah. We'll fly it once we're flying in Greece. We can fly Ajin, absolutely. I don't think we're going to fly it while we're up here flying in Alaska, though, man. Sorry. Imagine Juno is busy. Uh, IRL, lots of fish coming. Yeah. Spirit of Seattle is the name of the livery. Damn, it's a nice one. I like that. Leon, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Capture Kill, what's up, man? How was the first leg? Was up for lunch? It was good, man. It was good. We had a little bit of a weird, like, hump on the runway. But uh, all is well, man. All is well. We don't have any crazy uh, arrivals coming in here. Yeah, problem with the A320 Ultimate. Uh, when my father flies the A320, it says it has to upgrade the plane. I don't know how to. Uh, with the A3, wait, with what? With the flyby wire A320? Just download the flyby wire updater. Talking about the default A320. Or explain, you use the X updater. Sending in a catch can, hope not to crash. Nice, enjoy, man. When are we flying in Greece? Uh, somewhat soon, because Fly Tampa just released Athens, and Orbex just released Skiathos. So, definitely Greece sometime soon in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Within the next couple weeks, we'll definitely be doing that. Fly Emmets 380 in the St. Bart's. <laughs> That'd be a tough one. Try and find Alaska Boeing livery. I don't know if there is one. I really don't know. Shoddy, were you the one that crashed? On approach. Arctic, thanks so much, dude. Dropping the five bomb. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Well, here's the thing. I wanted to do these flights in the Q400, and I ended up, like, looking on FlightAware and Flight Radar. No Q400s awesome do these aircraft flights. aircraft and flight choice today, Captain. Thanks so much, Arctic. I appreciate you, man. So, I was, uh, yeah. Thanks so much, Arctic. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I, I basically did some research, and I was like, well, there ain't no 7.3s that are flying this. Juno traffic, Alaska 66, lining up runway 08. Juno traffic. Landing lights, runway turn off, strobes, hey. wings. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff, please. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff, please. Much of this runway as possible. That private jet in front of us, we probably won't catch him. He's going to be quick. We'll give him about a minute here. We'll start our clock. We'll give it a minute. We had plenty of spacing for the last uh, the last flight. Everything went well there. So that's a seven three Alaska Boeing. Yeah, we need that one. Hello, my Russian friend. Good to see you. 
Raid Fame, thanks so much, man. Dropping the two euros. Says, what sound mod do you use for the plane touches down? That is XP Realistic. XP Realistic is what is doing those sounds, man. Thanks for support, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Very kind. How come there were sharkless on the previous flight? Is it a livery thing? Yeah, you can change it sleepless in here. So if you're ever curious, you can just go to here and you can go over to the configure and customize and display and variance exterior, none blended and split. Fairly easy to change it. Fairly easy. All right, it's been a minute. We'll restart our clock. Enjoy the departure, guys. Throttles up to 40%. Chrono's on. Let's do it, friends. Takeoff power is set. Airspeed's rolling. Eighty knots. Cross check. Columns neutral. V one. V one. Rotate. Rotate. Positive three. Gear up. Four hundred. I've got to fly the departure here. One thousand. Watch those mountains. Flaps up one, let's lock our gear. Oh, up. Oh, up. Oh, up. Oh, up. Don't worry about him. Oh, up. clean Nice departure, man. God, this airplane is nice. Love the way that it flies. Autopilot's on. Bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Sweet. Nice. All right, after takeoff checklist. Uh, runway turnoffs, taxis, logo, wing, auto brake, gear off and locked. Looking good, my friends. 250 knots. 10,000 feet, which is coming up at a thousand, and we are well on our way to catch a can. Hopefully, we have some. Uh, what's the weather like? Can we get a Metar and catch a can? Yeah, here, dropping the four dollar dono. Thanks so much, yeah, I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you as well. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. It's very kind, appreciate that. We 
five hours you just entered Newfoundland? Nice. All right, well, there's 10,000 feet. Landing lights can come off. Climb speed will come in now. The yoke cam didn't show up. That's the point, yeah. Hey, Captain, these hey. streams are awesome. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, Yahia. Thank you very much for continued support, man. Your membership, your donations, that is very kind. I appreciate you, Yahia. Thank you very, very much, man. Thank you, bud. All right, cool. Nice departure out of Juno. We'll be back. We're going to be doing the Juno, so if you didn't get to fly with me today, keep in mind we are flying from Ketchikan to Juno, Juno to Alaska tomorrow. That's what the plan is for our son, Alaska. Uh, Seattle, that's what the plan is for tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. How far away from Ketchikan? Not far at all. About 40 minutes. <clears throat> Everything is just awesome but the Zebo, and if there are some bugs, the guy fixes it within a day. Yep, most, most of the time, yeah. Most of the time. It's weird how there's rarely uh, ETC in Alaska. Yeah. I think it's just because it's one of those 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 places. It's kind of hard to, to control. My TCAS. Yes. Yeah, sorry, I didn't uh, get yelled. Yelled at by Mr. Schmitty. Schmitty and the Batsim supervisors. Come get me. Thank you, After. Appreciate that, man. Did you get a fix for your Seattle scenery? Uh, yes, I believe so. I have to check it, but I believe Bearded Yeti sent me the fix for it. I think so. That wing flex. Bumpy departure out of Juno. Did you have a link? There was no link, Shaq. It, it's just the... Uh, I think it has something to do with the ortho. It has something to do with the mesh, the ortho mesh. When I follow train is uh, on for the approach. It is, Birdie. Yeah. Can you access the x forms to get liveries? Yeah. I can. Anchorage Center is huge, so I guess it would be hard to control. Yes. You are correct. It is. Doesn't it stretch, like, basically the whole thing? Anchorage Radar, Anchorage Control. Journey, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Great, I found the Boeing Alaska livery uh, and put the link in the Discord. Sweet. Wait for it. The ride just starts to get bumpy. I'm far ahead and things are a little bit worse. Okay, good. Dan gave me a Meta report. I didn't write it down. Winds are 170 at 3 knots. 10 mile visibility. Few at 500. Scattered at 18. Overcast at 22. So it's going to be... Uh, yeah, we're going to be riding down that ILS in the Ketchikan for a little bit. That's for sure. Cap, you flying tonight to or tomorrow? We are flying tonight, yeah. We are flying tonight. We're doing an event tonight. We're going from Denver to Salt Lake City. That stream will be live, and I think we're going to go live at about 6.45, 6.30 maybe. 6.30, I think, Eastern time. So I'm going to finish this stream gonna hang out for a little bit and uh make some dinner and then we'll be live again at uh for, for our flight from denver into salt lake city and then we've got our normal stream again tomorrow tomorrow we're going from ketchikan back to juno juno to seattle that's the plan for tomorrow sunday on vatsim so join up if you guys would like to i think the flight from juno to seattle is just under two hours i think something like that Schmidty's the expert. He'll be able to tell us. Yeah. Are there any uh, other approaches, departures like Juno besides Innsbruck or Calvi? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Not that. I, 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 yeah. Probably. There's uh, another one in Austria. I forget what it's called. It's beautiful. After how many hours, Cap? I live in the EU. Uh, how many hours till we're live again? About another four. Three and a half, four. Are we going to stream the event? Yes, we are.
Hello, I like the vids. Keep up the amazing works. K Plains, thanks for your support. Appreciate that. Salzburg, thank you, Bennett. Yep. Salzburg's another one. All right, we are standard barometric pressure. I'm going to turn off the camera here for a little bit. You guys can guess what's going on back here. Eleven PM GMT, uh, I believe so. Yes. Ketchup can. Birdie, oh man. At least it's all flown visually, Birdie, so it's not like you're programming an FMC or doing anything crazy, right? No worries, Lightus. Maybe next time. Mopar, yeah. Arnab Zulu, one three left, which is similar. SBRJ, yeah, that's a good one too. There's so many, right? Jackson Hole has a really nice Arnav approach too, yeah. There's a bunch. What link, Brendan? Yeah, Journey, I was the same, man. Once you, like, figure out Boeing, it's not all that bad. 845 to JFK, nice. Malaga Spotter, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How are you? Did you definitely come to New Zealand? Queenstown is a terrific approach. Yeah, we flew into Queenstown. Not uh, We had a big GA event we flew into Queenstown a couple weeks ago. Electric lettuce. Schmidt eat. It's covered anyways by the clouds. Clouds match the mountains, yeah. That's that proper ortho down there that Schmidt's talking about. Beautiful ortho. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait till you see my notes. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, shit. It's not even any better over here, damn. That's a nice view. Pretty sure we're going to be at cruise for about 50 or 60 miles. Ah, 
beautiful wing view, yeah. Everybody likes looking at a nice wing. Cloud surfing. Yeah, I'd love to do that, Bennett. You just crashed? Uh-oh. Sim crash or plane crash? That's with everybody crashing in, in uh, up in Alaska today. Forgot how small the real runway is? Oh, it's tiny, dude. It's like, what, 5,600 feet? Going basketball today? Nice, Brady. Rip Alaska 62, I caught his mayday. Plane crashed, it's a bug. My plane started to turn right and I couldn't do anything. Uh oh. Did you blow out your flaps? Top of the sense in 47 miles. Robin G. Up into business class. Thanks so much for support, Robin. I appreciate you, my friend, our newest member. Guys, can you please show some love and chat for Robin? The newest member of the channel. Huge enough place to you, Robin. Thank you very, very much for your support. Welcome to the green team. Hope you enjoy your stay here. I'm very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Robin, I appreciate that, my friend. Glad to have you here. He crashed at Doozy. He had a little bit of a doozy. Oh, boy. What do you think of the upcoming iodi builds a380 well it's an a380 not quite sure how excited i am for it but it's a cool airplane i'm excited to fly it i'm sure it's gonna fly extremely well and i'm sure it'll be exciting because it is i and i doing it we're literally just cloud surfing right now, right on top of these clouds. Right on top. Probably about time for me to join a business class. I'm still in the rear with the gear, uh, right below the <laughs> rudder actuators. Oh man, it's cold back there, isn't it? Man, it's so nice and warm up here in uh, business class and first class. Let me tell you.
you're ever in Ketchikan, there's a candy store named Ketcha Candy. Huh. Interesting. Well, there you go. Friends, if we're ever in Ketchikan. 22 miles till descent. Freezing! <laughs> First class is delicious. It is. Plus, you get lobster tails. Lobster tails and free beverages. Doesn't get any better than that. Ticket Speedbird 777 uh, to JFK. Nice. Since you flew with the Airbus A220 Ultimate, not the jar design, it says that I have to upgrade the plane. How do I upgrade? Since flying Airbus A220 Ultimate, not the jar design. Uh, there's an, uh, there's, what is it? X updater? There's an X updater, or you just go and download it where you re-download it from where you bought it from. Adik. When you cross a doozy, uh, look down the coast, I might see you. All right, sounds good, we will do. For a price, I can divulge the location of the special medicine in the lab. <laughs> I already, it's gone. It's gone, I apologize. All right, 14 miles till our descent here, friends. Um, if we pull open our charts and we take a quick little look-see here, you can see that we're gonna need to be at uh, doozy. We want to intercept at Gogox for, uh, what do we want? 4,100 feet, pretty much. 4,100 feet. So let's plug in 4,100 feet. And we'll make sure the airplane doesn't kill us or throw us into the side of a mountain or anything like that. But there we go. We've got our descent profile plugged in. Good. Anyway, know how long it'll take to travel 700 nautical miles. Depends on your, do you have a headwind or a tailwind? got a headwind probably close to two hours if you've got a tailwind probably closer to about an hour and a half what free airports in america and canada do i recommend anything done by canada for x plane anything done by mr x or uh you know mr x uh yeah i'm sorry how in the world can you crash at six on a six thousand foot pattern He said his plane was turning right. It was, it was stuck in a right turn. I'm wondering if he put flaps out too early. You got a headwind? Probably like two hours. An hour 45, something like that. You got any tips on how to properly calculate start of descent? Um, Chavez, we've been, we've actually been doing a lot of that recently because we've been flying the Q400. Easiest way the chat's been teaching me is take your altitude. So we're at 31,000 feet, all right? Let's say we need to be at, what was it, 4,100 feet. So 4,100 feet, we need to lose, uh, we would need to lose 27,000 feet, all right? So 27,000 feet, take 27, the number 27, times that by three. So that's gonna be what, 27, I hate terrible at math. That's gonna be 80 something, 81, 80 miles. Let's call it 80 miles. So basically take that number and you times it by three. So you take whatever number is here and whatever number you need to go down to and you minus those off of one another. So again, we had 31,000 feet, we're at, we need to be at 4,000 feet. So that's 27,000 feet. So you times 27 times three and you're usually good to go using that number. You should be good to go. That's the easiest way that chats pretty much like explained it to me and how they've done it. Three times your flight level and add 10. There you go. Three times your flight level, add 10. So if you're at 31,000 feet, it's gonna be, um, you know, 93, add 10, so 103 miles. There was a crash here. We didn't crash. Somebody's, a lot of people have crashed today. Alaska's claiming a lot of aircrafts today. No worries, Chavez. You didn't set the flaps, you did it alone? Uh-oh. Oof. Those breakouts in between the layers. Or in between little... Okay. Everything's looking good. Start plugging in some information. Mav! Thanks so much, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties to you. 109.3. 
109.3 is already in there. I did this approach last night. Uh, I'm going to set my auto brake to position number two. I'm going to arm my ground spoilers. Good. Um, our front course is, is it 118? Uh, 115 on the front course. 115. Okay, that is set and set. All right, cool. Sweet, looking good. Thanks, Mav. Appreciate you, man. Love the stream. Is always glad it going better than my plane floating off coast of Rio. <laughs> oh, man. Don't forget the time we lost our 777, Mav. I don't know if you were around for that or if you've seen that stream, but I crashed uh, the Flight Factor 777 off the coast of St. Martin. We were flying in during a hurricane. Uh, I can't remember what hurricane was. I'm sure chat will remember what hurricane it was. We flew in during a hurricane, and yeah, it was not good. It was not good at all. And Salt Sky Caves, but I lost all my frames. 55 less to 20. Wish I could run it because it looks beautiful, but I can't with less than 20. Interesting, Noah. Are you using OpenGL or using um, Vulcan? It was Irma? All right. Irma. There we go. Congratulations Bopar. on 64,000 subs, Captain. My man. Thank you, Mopar. Coming in with a $24 donation. I see what you did there, Mopar. Huge note floaties to you guys. Can we please show some love in chat for Mr. Mopar, dude? Showing some love. Dropping the $24. My man. Thank you so much, Mopar. I appreciate you, dude. $64 on the month. What a class act. Thanks so much, man. Let's get some love in chat for Mopar, dude. Dropping $24 bone. Don't know. Thanks, Mopar. Appreciate you, my friend. Hope you're having a great weekend. Relaxing. I know you're busy. I already know what you did last night. All night. How many did you end up doing last night, Mopar? How many houses? How many places? How many cars? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Dirt Pro, thanks for your support as well. Thanks for your subscription. Um... Altimeter is in Ketchikan, 2974. So we pre select that 2974, not so low on the pressure. That's 24 McChickens. <laughs> Brandon, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Just got here 64K? Yeah, man, 64. It's crazy, dude. At least you had a hurricane. My weather was clear. <laughs> Face palm. Ha ha. <laughs> Mav, dropping another $5 donation. Mav, huge no floaties to you, dude. Oof, the clear weather crashes. Those are the ones that get you, man. I built some tanks like water and oil tanks, not army tanks. <laughs> nice, Mopar. That's crazy, dude. Huge no floaties to you, Mav. Thank you very much, man. Dropping another five bomb. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. Man. Four McChickens. Dude, as if a McChicken costs a buck. That's scary. All right, coming up on transition altitude. We'll plug that in now. 2974. Good. I'm thinking of doing uh, a flight in Canada. Does WestJet 737-800 from Vancouver to Montreal sound like a good flight? Yeah. It's a long flight, but it's a good flight. And you'll have the tailwind. Probably about a five-hour, four-and-a-half, five-hour flight. Bought the TPR rudder pedals. They are awesome. Did you have to weak, uh, tweak the sensitivity at all, or did you find uh, out, out of the box? Um, Dan, I believe I took one of the springs off. Um, and I have the... I can take a picture for you. I have the... Uh, I have the foot rests at the highest position. So they're like, I don't really keep, like when I fly, I don't really keep, sometimes I keep my feet like right on them. But for the most part, I keep my feet on the ground and I just very like, very lightly move them and touch them, you know? I'm gonna fly uh, Porto to uh, Gibraltar. Nice, that's a fun flight. Upbeat songs today. They are good songs. All right. 
I'm excited for this one. No worries, Dan. No worries at all. My TPRs have been awesome. Pretty close to the real thing. They're absolutely amazing, man. I... <laughs> I'm constantly like being offered other rudder pedals and I, I t basically just turn it down because I'm like, you're not, I'm sorry, but there's not going to be anything better than what I'm using right now. I have got so comfortable and so used to these things. And not only that, these are so like rigid and durable. I truly like, this is like a, I feel like it's like a lifetime. Like you're, you buy these pedals and presuming that you don't like stomp on your pedals or like you have kids that are doing anything crazy on them and stuff. These things will literally last you like 10 plus years. Like just the way that they're designed and the way that they're built, it's insane. It's insane. Verpal makes really nice pedals. Um, there's another company that makes really nice pedals as well. Forget what they're, I can't think of their name off the top of their, my head. Um, Honeycomb has their, their Charlie uh, pedals out or coming out soon. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot, there's a lot. We've got, you know, Thrustmaster makes two two sets of pedals. We've got the uh, Logitech pedals as well. Yeah. Cap, should I remove Exclusion before you add Skyscapes? Yes. My CH pedals last to be 10 plus years. See, there you go. Yeah. You get so much. Oh, it's it's insane, Danny. It's truly insane. Like I, I tell everybody, like it's almost undescribable how much it does like the second you add rudder pedals it's just it's nuts i remember i remember buying like my first my first actual setup that i spent money on was the SciTech yoke and i remember not buying the rudder pedals i got the yoke bundle which was just the yoke and the throttle and i remember i i like put the rudder on like one of the little buttons one of like the side buttons on the SciTech. So I basically like I was controlling my rudder like from just like a thumb on my on my yoke, and I remember the day that like my one of my friends that I was flying with was just like, man, you need to get rudder pedals. Like it's it's a completely different experience. And I was just like, okay, whatever. And I broke down and I went and got the SciTech rudder pedals on sale. Um, and I remember coming home and I remember the first time putting my feet in them, and like going down the runway and making those small movements and all that stuff. And I was like, oh shit. Yeah, okay, this is a this is a game changer. Complete game changer. Landing lights on, 10,000 feet. Let's get our sounds turned back up here. <laughs> Schmitty. <laughs> I still can't, yeah, that was, that was so funny at the expo, man. Oh boy. What's up, been watching all these streams? Uh, studying for my paper exam. Nice, Canadian, hope you're doing well, man. So I control my rudders with button on the yoke. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm telling you, there's, 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 it's so immersive once you like actually put your feet into something and like you actually feel the yaw of the aircraft as you're moving your rudders and stuff like that. It's like somebody said, it's, it's completely, it, it completely transforms the flying experience. Like, especially like when like you've got a crosswind and stuff like that, and you've like got to kick your rudders over like as you're landing and stuff. It's it's pretty damn cool, man. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, let's get our terrain radar on. We're getting close to the airport. Don't pay attention to this brutal ortho over here to the left of us. What yoke do I use right now? Uh, <laughs> it's so like hard, like, uh, right now I'm using an unspecified product. <laughs> Have the T-Flight pedals, not a fan of them, uh, but Beats not having any at all. Yeah, absolutely, JP. That's what Schmitty's referring to. Schmitty calls them the nut rubbers. The nut rubbers? Yeah, I think that's what they're called. How do I turn off all the alt disagree on the 737 next to the altitude display? Alt disagree? Probably here by your alt horn cutout, if that's what's giving you issues. 
Very late to the party today. Alexi, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, dude. I hope you're doing well, man. Search for you. Uh, there's no way I'm going to find you. We're not at the waypoint either. Any DCS fans in the house? Well, I'm sure there is. Could it be a certain headphone brand? Uh, no hablo inglés. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, nothing. Nothing to see here. Did you turn the runway thing on? I did. Yes, I did, I did. Our speed's getting away from us a little bit here. I think we can... Well, you know what? I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to put out some speed brakes. What? Why? Congrats on the 64k sub, Captain. Doing the Salt Lake event tonight? If so, I see you there. HD Sam, thank you for the support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Yes, I am doing that today. I am, I am. Thank you for the support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties to you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thousand to go. I'm gonna arm my approach. I'm going to shallow you out like crazy. Getting some wind off the mountains here. That was my bad, I had my throttle. Okay, there we go. Bumpy approach, man. Holy. Pops one. Way too fast looking at a Smitty 3 arrival. What are we talking about? Well, at 270 knots, yeah, but for some reason my throttle was stuck on and up. Thousand to go. Thousand to go. Thought you're gonna watch Montreal get destroyed by Vegas. Ottawa's playing right now. Ottawa's playing. Who's Ottawa playing right now? Ottawa's playing someone right now. Can anybody tell me what the score in the Sens game is? Plug in 190. Glad Slope's coming alive. Let's go flaps 5 degrees. 14 and a half miles out. 2 1 Tampa. Gotcha. Game over in the third. good song but I gotta pause the music actually it's a short song so we're good twelve miles in the second. Got you. Ten miles out. Can't see much right now. All right, nine and a half. Here's coming down. Flaps 15 degrees. 
Final approach speed today will be 150. Make sure that our weather is... 2,500. Thank you. Eight and a half miles. This song sounds like the beginning of eight mile. Seven and a half miles. Again, 150 on the approach speed. Everything's on, looking good. Six and a half miles, let's get fully configured. 150 on the approach speed. Let's go flaps, 25 degrees. Flaps 30, which will be our landing flaps today. Alrighty, look at that. Beautiful coming in. Enjoy the arrival, friends. See you guys down on the ground. Absolutely gorgeous. 1,300 feet, exactly what it said it was. Overcast at 1,300 feet. My airplane. My throttles. All right, landing checklist, gears down, three green, flaps are full, spoilers are armed, auto brake is set, cabin crew has been. 1,000 feet, stabilized, Mr. Perch, altitude set. Advised. We're looking good. Hey, Capitaine. Hey. Amazing stream. Thank you. Been a fan for a while already. For a suggestion, why don't you do a flight from Montreal to Turks and Caicos? Ooh, that'd be a fun one. Thanks, Bose. Appreciate you, man. I will do my best to try to remember that one. Thanks for your support, man. I appreciate you. Uh, one thing that I noticed, the approach path is off in this airport so we're gonna if we're gonna fly pappies okay we're not flying glide slope we're flying pappies because the glide slope puts us really under 500 checked so we're flying pappies two white two red 400 300 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Catch Can. Nice approach. That was good. We're like eight second float on both of our arrivals today. Real nice, considering I'm using a brand new. <clears throat> Sorry, choked a little bit there. Sorry. <clears throat> it's just I'm really happy with how the arrivals went today, considering I'm, you know, flying something for the first <clears throat> time don't know what you guys are talking about but sweet we made it friends welcome to catch a can look at that beautiful scenery oh baby let's go ahead and get our chrono stopped 43 minutes into catch a can landing lights are coming off let's go ahead and turn up the sorry turn on the epu uh strobe lights are coming off wing lights are coming off ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome see we got another aircraft right there man that was some beautiful weather it's like exactly how it was supposed to be breaking out absolutely gorgeous um engine start switches to the auto position let's go ahead and clean up our flaps let's go ahead and clean up the spoilers here as well beautiful train radar can come off ladies and gentlemen welcome to catch a can where the uh, airport basically sits in like this little basin. 
pretty damn cool. Be careful coming down here. Don't go too quick. Is that downhill? It is. Yeah. It is. The airport's like much... If you look at real world pictures... And there's the ferry... So there's actually, we're on a little island, well, we're on like a little peninsula, I think, um, and you have to take a ferry, so the actual city is across the water right there, so uh, kind of like Toronto City Centre, you have to take a little ferry across to the, uh, to the mainland, if you will. APU generators are on, APU bleeds are on, engine bleeds are off. Here's the apron, um, we're going to go ahead and taxi ourselves right here. We'll grab one of the gates. I saw somebody log out for us, so I appreciate that. We'll grab the only stand right there. Yeah, the only gate with a stand here in Ketchikan. So you can tell there's probably not a lot of traffic that comes into this airport. Let's go and get our runway turnoffs off. Oops. Good. And making the turn here, we can get our taxi lights off as well. Can we go fishing now, please? <laughs> what would be good fishing up here, Mopar? What would it be, like salmon and stuff? I'm assuming. Such a cool-ass airport, man. Glad we were able to fly in. Does it really want us up that close? Because this is telling me, like, to stop back here. Is it not? Can we actually drive all the way up there? Truck hour worth the investment? Absolutely, man. I mean, if you do truck sims, flight sims, anything like that, absolutely it's worth it. Absolutely it's worth it. All right, well, I guess we're going to stop. Do we go all the way up? I guess we go all the way up. It makes sense. That's why they've given us even the little mirror. It'd be cool if we saw our airplane in that mirror. And it's not just like a reflective mirror. That would have been kind of cool. And we'll call it quits right about there. Sure, no problem. All right. Park brake is on, APU's on, gens are on, we're looking good. Engine number one is off, engine number two is off. Ladies and gentlemen, anti-collision lights are off. Seatbelt signs are coming off as well. Welcome to Ketchikan after a 43 minute flight. Beautiful. I think we're a little bit early, aren't we? I think we're five minutes early. Here we go. You can hear everybody deboarding the airplane. Wonderful. Uh, what was the scheduled flight time? 48 minutes. There you go, guys. We're five minutes early. Hey, five minutes early. Got it. Cool. Sweet. Nice flight. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, thank you to everybody who joined on VATSIM today, man. We had some, some awesome turnouts in VATSIM today. It was a lot of fun. Glad you guys enjoyed that one as well. Thanks for coming to hang out. Remember, guys, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. If you've done so as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're hanging out, know that I'm going to be live again in about three and a half hours. Just about four hours from now. No, about three hours from now. Three hours from now, we're going to be live. Uh, we're going to be hanging out. We're going to be doing another flight. There's a um, uh, an event going on today from Denver to Salt Lake City. So I'm looking forward to that. Should be a lot of fun. Um, all right, cool. Let's toggle replay mode. Let's back this guy up. Take a look at this approach in shift three. What? Why? That can't be correct. All right. We can watch it from here. the power nice flare hold it hold it hold it nice and smooth my friends i don't think it gets much better than that i don't think it gets much better than that my amigos nice and smooth 10 out of 10 on that center line greasy that's a greasy one my amigos that is a greasy one well everybody that is gonna go ahead and wrap up today's live stream
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't done so, again, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are live again later. If you guys haven't grabbed a slot for the event later, um, I believe that you can still join and fly, although you may end up being, uh, you may end up having to wait just a little bit. Um, you may not be able to get like a, a departure right, right, right away. But um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. Haven't flown an event since our last like FNO. Uh, which was, I don't know, a month or two ago, so it should be uh, should be a lot of fun. For those of you that can't tune in later tonight, uh, no problem. We are live again tomorrow. We're going to be departing Ketchikan, flying back to Juno, and then Juno down to Seattle. That is the plan for tomorrow. I'm very much looking forward to that one as well. Uh, to all my mods, donators, and sponsors, thank you all so, so much for everything that you guys do for the channel, man. Without you guys here, none of this is possible. So seriously, thank you all very, very much for your support. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, and again, uh, the backbone of this channel, man. So thank you guys so, so, so much for the support, man. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Um, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys all later tonight. We're going to be repping the United Colors tonight. We're going to be flying from Denver. Oof, look at that greasy landing. Going to be flying from Denver into um, Salt Lake City. Always fun flying into Salt Lake City. The views are always chef kiss and chat for the views coming into Salt Lake City. So, uh, guys, appreciate y'all hanging out today. Thank you to everybody again who uh, who joined on Vatsim. Uh, to everybody that can't donate using a monetary value, still want to thank you guys just as much. Without any of you here, none of this is possible. So I really, really do appreciate that, friends. Thank you all so, so much for everything that you guys do. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys all in the after dark this evening. Happy landings, my friends. Peace.